What's up, guys? It's Will here, back again for another episode of Lights, Camera, Kiko, Justin Collection Collects. Guys, that's, that's quite a mouthful there. It's going to be a very fun show. And of course, we have some amazing guests with us. Of course, my amazing co host, Mr. Kiko. Kiko plus one. We're gonna, Kiko, we're going to have to get into that because yeah, that is that's a very mysterious username mm. that you have there. And we're going to have to address Perfect. that. But before we do, we have a man who lives in the future on this panel right now. And in Australia, guys, I don't know if you know this, Australia is quite literally in the future. Like, it's crazy. Anytime I try to talk to Justin, I'm like, I don't even know if he's awake. Justin gets things earlier than we do, not just because he's an influencer. He's in the influencer batch, but because wow. he lives in the future. Like, he gets movies before us, Kiko. It's not fair. Is it April 13th there? Yeah. Yeah. Wild. See, what, what in the fuck, dude? Like, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, it's literally futuristic, dude. But anyway, guys. Can we get into flat time. earth type discussions? I'm happy to do that. I mean, the Earth is flat. There's no dispute. Correct. <laughs> there's, there's no disputing. <laughs> Justin joined the right show this fine Friday evening. Guys, thank you so wow. much for joining us. We're going to address these amazing, amazing panel members. But before we do that, let's just say, guys, we have a giveaway that's going to be going on. Kiko made an amazing reel about that. And uh, I know, I think, I don't know if Justin's going to be doing one as well at some point. I know we discussed that. But the NR mm. detonator giveaway we're going to be doing so once kiko hits uh eight thousand and my channel hits nine thousand we're going to be giving away in our detonator so guys there's going to be a video on that soon that's it we're going to talk some in our tonight let's address this amazing panel mr kiko plus one collects how are you doing this fine evening sir hello will hello justin i was very much considering uh i was trying to figure out my wardrobe for tonight and i was almost when i saw like the topic lists or whatever that we're going to be talking i feel like 85 percent of what we're talking about is all in arts bullshit. <laughs> and like i was like yeah. oh, what are we going to do and so i really almost wanted to get like a shirt that i was going to like stencil like something like uh like in art shill across my like chest here just to have something like a little hashtag to keep keep trending but uh i decided to opt against that i had other things to do that were more pressing as opposed to putting letters on my chest but we have a lot to talk about, and you may be asking everyone, what's this plus one question mark? Well, that's the question. We may have a plus one. We may have a guest stop by that's not named Drago. And we so don't mean we'll Justin. We mean, correct, not, not Justin either. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we do potentially have some surprises, but no promises. That's all I'm saying. Nice. Well, that's pretty exciting. Bro. That collection is looking pretty good behind you. So I think uh, you should probably I, I Justin. changed up the area because even though you said you liked the layout last time better, yeah. The, I Dude, like it, it still looks great, man. I wouldn't yeah. even notice the difference. It looks great nonetheless. Yeah. But Justin, Kiko is a handyman now. He like built his own bathroom. Oh. He built his own module cases, wow. basically. Like he's yeah, he's I hang wallpaper too, bro. Yeah, he wallpapers now. Yeah. Dude. That's awesome. I don't have any of those skills. So that's <laughs> that's what I said until my wife said, get your ass in there and figure it out. And yeah. I did. And do I it. Figured it out. Yeah, see, Justin, that's where like your manhood comes into question and you'll adapt, dude. It's like you'll, you'll, you'll overcome. I see. Yes. I have slowly but surely now that we, uh, when, when we bought this house, I've slowly but surely acquired more and more tools. So I feel like, you know, I'm on the way there. Like I've got two drills now. So I'm on the way, but I'm not quite Kiko. That's level, more than one. I suppose. Yeah. That's like why all yeah. of our parents <laughs> and all the older folk that we know in life have these giant garages and stuff full of tools because they start like <laughs> us. Tools. Yeah, and you just start collecting them. And before you know it, you're the old man saying, yeah, just go on into the garage there, get whatever helps you. Put it back when you're done. I mean, all I have is like a Phillips head screwdriver. That's oh, like come a on. Movie. You need a little more than that. See, but Will's still early on in yeah, he's, I, he's I'm not handy yet. You know, I, I, handy. we're both married, Justin. You're into fatherhood, so you're we're collecting the tools. Yeah. You know, as our life changes, so we'll we'll get you onto there. I don't Literally. have any of that, dude. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any of that. I do have a, like a very tiny pair of scissors though to cut the packaging off Hot Toys, like the little wrapping paper. Wow, I do oh, it's a razor blade. Oh, that, that razor blade. That is the most annoying part of unboxing Hot Toys. I can attest, <laughs> for the entire time that I've ever reviewed Hot Toys, I hate the stupid cutting and. Be careful of the outfit. Oh my god, I hate dude. I always feel like I'm gonna stupid snip plastic something. off the hand. Yeah, I will, I haven't yet, but I always feel like I will. Yeah, I was really One scared day. with Pennywise because he has like a, a cloth outfit, you know. And I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this bitch in half. Like, I mean, there's there's no way around it. But uh, that's why I got the time. I used to use like legitimate real size scissors, and uh, it took some some major major balls, but I, I got the job done. But Nonetheless, Justin, thank you so much for joining us, dude. How are you doing? It's fine. It's Saturday for you, but it's Friday here in the past. How are you doing, man? It is Saturday morning. I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Uh, How early is it there? Dude? Yeah, I, is it? I is uh, 7.30. So it's 
Not that early, I guess. I mean, I went to bed pretty late last night because the schedule that we're on, the baby uh, sleeps at like, depending on how the day went, anywhere from like 11 to 2 a.m. So, like, we're trying to get the schedule to move earlier so that we can go to bed at a reasonable hour, but as of yet, unsuccessful. So, we're trying our best with that. Mm. Dude, I don't think that uh, I can have a child. I don't think, I don't think, I mean, having a hot toy and posing it is hard enough, dude. Like, it's like, it's... You're on their schedule, Will, like, you, you, like, you don't want to, yeah, you just give up. You're like, okay, I'm not fighting you anymore. Whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do that. And then, uh, <laughs> How much longer through. until you're over the hill to where they start sleeping like a full night? Like, do you have months, weeks, years? Like, what are we looking at, bro? We get a full night. Like, the the sleeping happens for like 13 hours. But it's just that it starts so late. <laughs> you wake, she wake up at like 1 p.m. And you're like, well, now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> the, the day before is is ruined, and then the, and the day after is like you know you can't really do anything. But anyway, it's a work in progress. So yeah, we're figuring it out. Yeah, you'll figure that out. You're like in art. You're figuring it out I'm as sure you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> you're figuring it out. So, but guys, thank you so much to Jazz, and thanks so much to Kiko, of course, for always uh, being here with me. Guys, we're gonna talk about. I mean, look, you saw the thumbnail. There's a lot of in art shit to talk about. We're gonna talk. The, most of the show dog and mm. Kiko as Kiko reference. This is the first time we've ever had three actual Batman circles on the. Yes, yeah, the, the first. It's the first. I was gonna yeah. say every like, single topic. Wow. Yeah, Batman because movies. basically, like everything this week was like hot in our uh, in our release. There, Batman, of course. And then Hot Toys was like, you know what? Like we're gonna release our fucking Batman too. It's but a different it is the 85th anniversary though this is the year of batman oh that's true and justin that's true and they they also had 89 batmobile Mm -hmm. and they said batfleck 2.0 which we're going to talk about so which Mm -hmm. i I think justin's excited for that one i'm pretty sure i'm gonna i'm gonna speculate because i know he's he's a snyder guy you know shouldn't this be 3.0 technically because they already made improvements from the 1.0 with the battle damage one they improved articulation and they changed about the chromed out version that's a classic there's a chrome version oh yeah the like black, black chrome, chrome version. Oh it's a black chrome Batfleck? Yeah, a black chrome armor yeah. Batfleck, yeah. I, dude, I missed that. I gotta yeah. look that up. <laughs> it comes with a beautiful, massive diamond display base that is the most impractical thing in the entire world. Gotta love hot toys. Justin hates those diamond bases, dude. Because <laughs> like, they take I up so much them. space. <laughs> They're so impractical. They are. They're massive. Like Moon Knight, uh, Darth Maul, Thanos, shit like that. Well, yeah. For Thanos, I can get that. I mean, he's twice the size of a normal figure maybe that's true he is he is a big boy he's a big boy but nonetheless guys we did get a super chat and we're going to jump into that before we jump into our Ooh. first topic yeah we, we night call he's, he's looking for justin here he said justin is him so oh. this is what this is the language the I kids am. say justin so yeah this is this is what they say okay you'll have to like, translate for me what yeah, him is like saying like he's that dude like he's like he's oh. i keep wanting to use the sport i don't know if well, you watch american football that. he's patrick mahomes basically that's yeah <laughs> Kiko. he's not he's joe burrow there we go. There we go. Did you see that Burrow and Kelsey know, were hanging out this weekend? What? Burrow and Kelsey have been hanging out this week. Cause, oh, dude. Cause Kelsey's Kelsey, going to Cincinnati? Well, the Kelseys are from Cincinnati because they both okay. went to UC, and they decided to have an event at UC's campus, and that's where they hosted their podcast, I guess, whatever that Kelsey Brothers podcast are. Oh, yeah. And obviously, the guest was Joe Burrow, and so they did it all live at the arena there and everything. And then afterwards, they all went to some of the Cincinnati hot spots in Woodmont, which is pretty cool. No, oh, that sounds pretty cool. Well, we got another does not chat. care about anything. Like <laughs> that, Justin's yeah. going to learn about American football today. Hey, Reacts and Games, thank you so much, bro. Hey, guys, so ready for this. Justin, you're the man. So, Justin, another positive compliment for you. Pre ordered my armored Batman today from Sideshow. Base is dope. Yeah, it certainly is. And we're going to talk about that because seemingly people do we care, face. but we're going to figure out if they really do. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> let's not bury the lead here. You know what? There's there's something that dropped this week, and it's called Batman, and it's actually by a company called Inart, which you may or may not have heard of, <laughs> but they dropped something. And look, I know Kiko calls mass hysteria. He calls mass panic. He's a fear monger. That's what he is, right? So, and now we have the Inart photos and the videos out there that um, you know showcase a much better side uh, of this figure, show it in a much more positive light. So. I'm going to share some of that. We'll go through different photos. There's a lot of reviews out there from uh, Hong Kong influencers who have this figure early. Uh, and, you know, a lot of different pictures and videos out there circulating. And, and of course, no one in the States has their video up yet. I know Justin doesn't have, he's not States, but he doesn't have his video up yet. Jetta, no, I haven't even had mine shipped yet. So 
I'll be working on that review whenever I get it. Nonetheless, we have a video from Kennard directly, and uh, I got to ask the question. So I do want to start with Kiko on this one, Justin. In Art the Batman, yeah. the reviews are appearing online. Is it Kiko going to blow the Hot Toys out of the water? Because we had a look, I have that Hot Toys Batman right in that other room over there. I've been reviewing it the last couple of days. Dude, fuck putting the head on. Let me just say that from the start, right? <laughs> Justin helped me. God damn it, dude. God damn it, Kiko. That How long were we on the phone for, Will? Like an hour, dude. <laughs> like that, like that, that <laughs> collar, Kiko. The, your your the, inability to. <laughs> this is why you need more tools, Will, because your inability to do some of these simple tasks is not uh, simple. Is mind numbing. It's not simple, dude. But Kiko, we gotta we gotta answer this very <laughs> impressing, a very pressing question here. Is it gonna blow the Hot Toys out of the water? Because Hot Toys was the bell of the ball, and now it seems like the Hot Toys is like, oh, I don't want to play with you anymore. What are your thoughts on this? I have a lot of thoughts. Obviously, go figure. <laughs> yeah. um, one of the someone messaged me immediately this morning from one of my my panic video. They're like, this age like fine milk, didn't it? I saw because I, like, I went back and looked at the comments. I want to see. What yeah, I was like, like <laughs> I was like, you know what, bitch? I don't care. You still clicked, so who cares? <laughs> I don't care. That was the whole point. Is like y'all don't understand that people click for or make things for clicks. It got five thousand yeah. views. I know. I was like, I mean, yeah. it is what it is. So yeah, of course. You know, I'm going to make something that's a little more edgy so that people can react to it. And people did react to it. And so here we are now. But I also saw like another meme that was so perfect for this. It shows like um, one, it's like one of those stick drawings. And it's like one person playing with the N art one, one person playing with the hot toys one. They're fighting with each other. And then this one other guy comes in saying, Stop, you're not allowed to have fun. Because oh, it's just, yeah, it's just because people want to argue. And the, as they always say, you know, the real winners here are the fans. And that's the true winner, though there is no winner when it comes to the company because we, the consumer, is the winner. Now, blow it out of the water, Will. You're talking about hyperbole and a little bit of like <laughs> exaggerations and using big language and things. That's a little bit dramatic. Uh, for the price point for another hundred bucks, I think you're getting about what you can expect for an another hundred bucks. I would say the proportions are a little bit better. I think the base is still comically silly. I think most people have agreed with that. Like, just give us some bigger magnets or whatever. Like, do whatever you got to do. That that seems very gimmicky to me. I'm not going to be flipping mine around 30 times to change my poses up. That That's asinine. But blow out of the water, there's, people aren't going to like this, but there's things to like and dislike about both, both. There are some things that are you know, inaccurate on some. There's some things that proportionally may not look right. There's some things that could be done a little bit better looking at you, P-head in art. So that's, I think, the main thing is that are people saying, well, this is why Hot Toys makes their heads too big. Well, no, in art's got a P-head. I'm like, a P head. <laughs> no, that's what they say. Like, they're like, the head's too small. And they're like, no, Hot Toys just oversizes it. But the only one I have in hand is the Hot Toys one. Well, the only one you have in hand currently is the Hot Toys one, to my knowledge. Yep. And I think when you have the cowl on, I think the Hot Toys one is a pretty damn good option for the cost. Throw another hundred bucks on there, whatever it may be. I think the Inart one looks pretty damn good for the cost. So out of blow out of the water, I think you're doing a little bit of stretching on that one. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Well, again, it's similar to your video, right? I want to see. Like, I was, I was thinking of the title this morning, and someone probably saw I changed it like three times. I was like, "What would get people to be interested in this topic, right?" And I think again, this is probably what did it. Like, <laughs> you should have said, "In art wins. Hot toys has failed." You know, yeah, like should have done I that, dude. It. That would have been the ultimate clickbait. If I'd have been like, "Hot toys is dead. <laughs> like, in art is in art is the new champ." Like, you know how to present. But can you know, I say one thing? Yeah, I, go ahead, go ahead. We, we, we can get to on. This is the thing that really half-assed that really bothered me, What's and up? it looks like it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass to put the belt on like why Dude. could you not have put the belt on? <laughs> kiko i had trouble putting the head on the hot toys that's Imagine what i'm saying what I'm is like for all the people that complained about the uh like the the tie on the joker when i saw him pull out the Dude. tweezers to adjust the belt on the belt, i was like fuck that i was like come on you could not have done that for me like come on that's my one big beef with this bro i had to call justin to put the joker head on because I was like, he was like, all right, now undo the tie on the back. And I was like, why though? I was like, this doesn't make sense. And, and the same thing with Inart. I told him this morning too, Kiko, like Inart shipping Pennywise without the neck on the body. Like what in the fuck? Like, why would you do that? Like you, cause now I have to undress Pennywise just to put the neck on. Like why? Like it's the same with this belt. As good as this figure looks, dude, just put the belt on it. Like just put it on. Like, and then it, you can fuss with it if you don't like the way it is at that point. Yeah, you can fuss with it. Anyway, Justin, I don't want to talk too much, dude. I want to give you a chance to give your natural reaction here. Yeah. 
Is it going to blow Hot Toys out of the water? Set, 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 set Kiko straight here. What are your thoughts? Well, um, I am a good chunk of the way through filming. Um, and so far, I think yes. But not as dramatically. Like what Kiko said is perfect. Sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> He's been up I'm too sleepy. If all Kiko said is perfect, um, for the price point, Hot Toys is an amazing offering. Still absolutely love the Hot Toys one. Um, and you get the wingsuit with the Hot Toys one that you don't get with in So you are getting like there's pros and cons to both. Uh, and I prefer the Hot Toys base right off the bat. The design, especially that circle base for in is so big. Again, back to the diamond base. And because it's a circle instead of a rectangle, now you can't have other bases slotted up against it, whereas the Hot Toys one's a little bit easier to work with. But with that being said, everything is made of real materials. Everything that is metallic is real metal. Every buckle, the buckle on the belt, the little triangle thing on the belt, the pouch is made of real leather. Everything just is that little bit of a step above if that makes sense. Um, like, I, I don't know really how else to put it without spoiling the <laughs> whole review, essentially. <laughs> but um, the belt, okay. Yes. The belt took me ages because you actually have <laughs> to put the, me, real, the real buckle, the, it's a real clip. You slot it in and then you like rotate it around and then you have to hook on the, the, the thigh thing. It took me a while, but once you have it on there, the connection is really stable, so... I agree, it should have been on the figure, like, out of the box. I don't understand what the hell happened there, like, why they didn't do that, honestly. Um, but the, the small head thing, I don't think that's a thing. Like, in person, when you put it on, it looks scaled accurately to me. Um, but they're both amazing. No matter which one you go with, I reckon you're going to be happy. It just depends. If you do want to spend that a little bit more, then you are spending more, you've I feel like you should be getting that step above when it comes to material quality, but it's got better articulation. Like it's a win-win for us because they're both amazing. If you love hot toys, go with the hot toys one. If you want something that's a little bit more realistic or a lot more realistic, if you're going for rooted hair, you know, one will be the one for you. It's, it's pretty straightforward to me. Yeah, I think so too. And I will say, although hyper hyperbolic here, the Hot Toys one I do have yes. right in the other room, and I'm giving it a very good review. I do want to say it's a great fucking figure. Like honestly, it is great. It, it is really. It's, good. it's kind of like Justin. You know what I think? It's kind of like when Hot Toys released Pennywise, and I was like, dude, this figure yeah. is amazing. And then Inar put out their Pennywise, and I was like, well, like the Hot Toys one is good. Right? I watched. How do I feel? I watched a review. I don't know who. Not of a figure of something else entirely. And they were like, it's, it, we call it the Best Buy effect. Like, you go to Best Buy and you see two TVs on the wall, and the $10,000 one is absolutely amazing next to this $2,000 TV. But when you take the $2,000 TV home, there is no $10,000 TV to compare it to. So they're both going to be amazing in their own right. It's just that when you have them side by side, obviously the in art one is going to show up hot toys because... Like, just based on that picture alone, you can see the V taper to the torso, the bigger rounder shoulder pads. There are so many little things that Inart does slightly better that when you add all those things up, then you get to the point, well, I don't want to say what you said, it blows it out of the water. But it is, it is better, but you are spending more, so it should be better. So I don't know why this is really much of a surprise. You're buying a more premium product, you should expect a more premium product. Some people don't believe Speaking that. Speaking of premium products. <laughs> All right, Kiko, go yes. for it. I'm assuming, yes, you have, <laughs> I'm assuming you have the rooted version. How big of a pain in the yes. ass is this hair going to be? Because as someone who owns rooted in art figures, I've not had the greatest <laughs> yes. success. How, how, what, what, am I, can, what can I expect in my journey? Without spoiling Both your the Bruce Wayne heads. No, no, no. Both the Bruce Wayne heads um, for mine are fine. And before people say, oh, well, you, they check yours, Justin, because you're the, <laughs> the YouTuber who's going to review it. I promise you, they didn't check mine because <laughs> there are other things that I can't get into that just completely blow my mind that slipped through that is now having to be uh, rectified, let's just say. Uh, so I promise you, they haven't checked mine at all. Um, so it's not that, but the hairstyles both look fine to me. Um, I haven't put it on the body though, and I haven't taken the plate off to move the eyes. So when that happens, maybe we'll have a different thing. So, so TBD at the moment. 
TBD at the moment. They're both still in their canisters. I had to stop filming the unboxing. Um, I haven't finished the videos yet. So I literally just filmed the unboxing. Haven't done the review portion yet at all. So I'm still waiting for something to arrive before I can finish <laughs> the unboxing. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're going to see how this goes. But like I said, mine hasn't shipped. So mm. when I get mine, Justin will have his review out. I know other uh, reviewers will have theirs out as well. So I'm excited. The reviews I've seen have yes. been really cool. Justin, I'm not looking forward to putting that belt on. I'm going to call you, bro, because like I... It doesn't take... It, I, I, yeah, it's not that bad, Will. It's just... It's like it's like a, a, a metal clip that you sort of slot in and then rotate down. And once you've done that, it's... Like is the clip kind of like, like, any, like a Captain the... America shield where you like you clip it, you connect it together? No, 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 no. It's not like that. There is one like that around the back, but it's non-functional, okay. I think. Oh, maybe it is functional, but you don't use that one. Uh, yeah. Use the one at the front that like sort of interlocks and then sits down. But once you've done that, there's only three buckles that you have to do. So once you've done that, you'll be all right. And it's very secure. So it's not coming unbuckled once it's buckled, right? It will. It will not. It's a real metal like clip as well. So okay. it's cool. very secure. You don't have to put any of the pouches on. Uh, they're already on. So, yeah, it's just the buckles, really. But the belt should have been on, I think. I don't know why it was not on. I mean, I can't imagine it would be unsafe to ship it with the belt on. I mean, Hot Toys did it. I mean, so... The cape, I get it, because, like, they don't want to wrinkle it, I guess. Right. But the belt, I think, should be on. Right. Yeah. I think Hot Toys shipped with the cape on, didn't they? I'm pretty sure. Hot Toys <laughs> one, they because yeah, because they always have that, that slot. Oh yeah, that like hole. That slot. The amount <laughs> of times I filmed an unboxing. Like yeah. yeah, I'm trying to fucking pull this thing out, and the cape fucking jammed in there, and then I have to reshoot the unboxing ten different times. People think that it's so easy to just point the camera at the fucker and be like, oh yeah, just take it out of the box. <laughs> there are so many stupid things, like heads have fallen off midway through and hands fall off. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Dude, it is, bro. But like yes, when I film reviews, like I, I'm like getting stressed. I'm like, this is like, it's like stressful, dude. It's, I was gonna that say, it's it, not why it I can do be sometimes. It can be, yeah. Once you get better, yeah, at I don't play. I don't blame you. Yeah. The but, um uh, the magnet base thing, Kiko. I'm sorry you don't like it. That was one of my ideas. Um, but <laughs> yes, the ideal situation would be the whole fucker is magnetized and then um go down that route. But to get magnets that large and strong enough is quite difficult. <laughs> so the other situation would be to put a metal plate inside the display base. But then you're losing that magnet on magnet action. It would just be the magnets in the shoes would do all the heavy lifting. And because the shoes are quite small, that also could cause an issue. Um, I mean, it's something for the R&D team to discuss, I guess. But that was my yeah. suggestion was, okay, well, if you can't do massive magnets the size of the whole display base, then at least have them so that you can widen them if you have them in a like a wide like an action stance or make them closer together in case you want to have them standing straight up and down. So, right. yeah, that was my bad I also that wouldn't under, I don't understand either people. Justin why it would be they, they don't yes. seem to want to do it but like where you know you could have like a little piece that you could pop out and, and plug a crotch grabber in you know something like that like you could cover it if you want to have the magnetic base but mm. something maybe in the back or in the back of the middle of the base where you could for people who want more stability could plug a like little Superman in. yeah yeah why not like why not that's what I'm saying like why they, they don't seem to want to do that but I feel like that would maybe maybe I'm missing something I feel like that would be an easy solution to the people who want magnets versus the people who don't you could have both you know i feel like you're right that that is possible but i also feel like that's like telling apple why don't you just uh install android on your iphones in case people want that like, it's not really their <laughs> I mean, vibe not? you know it's not, it's, it's not their vibe they don't want to they don't want to give uh is that not give premium? up the magnet idea just yet? <laughs> is it not premium? I don't know because the whole the whole idea of it is you don't want anything to take away from the look, like how people are doing the seamless forearms now, like Hot Toys are doing with Wolverine or whatever. Yeah, like there's they're trying to get to that that place where you don't need the crotch grabber. We're not there yet, unfortunately, because sometimes it fails. But this, I think, is a better solution than not being able to move them at all. Because then, if you have them in a wide stance, like my Joker, for example, I have to have the feet perfectly on the frickin' thing. <laughs> now, at least, you can move it. So, you can have the stance adjusted, ac accommodated for. So, anyway, I don't think there's a, a perfect solution yet. Because, like, for the Bruce Wayne base, it's a concrete thing. There isn't a spot where you could have a hole 
to plug the thing into. Mm. Like it's just one smooth platform. So what you're saying, Justin, is it's going to blow Hot Toys out of the water. That's what you're saying. (laughs) (laughs) That's what you just said. That's what I interpreted. So anyway, guys, sure. <laughs> it's on record. Let's uh, address some of these super chats real quick, and then we'll jump on to our next. Because we're going to keep this in our discussion rolling, guys. Don't don't think you're getting away with uh, oh. getting out of is of in our. Yeah, we, we got some more in our topics, but we got a super chat from Derek. Thank you so much, bro. Ninety nine. Glad to catch the live stream uh, stream live for the first time. Now this is an Avengers level panel, if there ever was one. Thank you so much, bro. We got a great panel. Hope everyone is doing well today. Damn. Thank you so much, Derek. Uh, Justin and Kiko are flattered. So absolutely, bro. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying those little reactions. Hey, there we go. <laughs> See, I don't, dude. I got, I don't, I haven't installed that yet. I, I got to change something. But Kiko told me I can do it. But I, I have a Mac. I'm on a Mac. But get up. Yeah, you need to use your uh, iPhone as a camera. Oh, uh, Kiko, you're using your iPhone to be able to do it. Yeah, it's just, it, it's just on the iOS. You have to use the FaceTime camera, like. Oh, uh, yeah, you have to. I'm use, using yeah, a yeah. Canon camera. It's not possible. So. Yeah, yeah, they won't. See, you should tell you should tell Apple that you know they should just allow it. You think I should? I should. I should message them, dude. Yeah, you should yeah, call them. <laughs> call them up. They're gonna be like, "Who the fuck are you again?" I'll be like, I- "I'm in the influencer <laughs> batch, okay?" Like, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, it's company. like you don't understand. <laughs> yeah, right. So we got five dollars from Ice Cream Man 951. Love the username. I love, I ice, love cream some ice cream right now, dude. Vanilla is the best. Just gonna throw it out. Of there. course it is, Will. Of course. It is. <laughs> Three goats in wow. one stream. What a way to end the week, dude. Thank you so much. I think, uh, yeah, dude, these guys are the goats. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, no, no, no. I'm not the goat. I'm the opposite. I'm only the goat when I'm out people, humble, talking Will. to people in public. That's it. That's that yes we need to do one of those at some point Justin, i'm what? curious to see how aussies react because aussies are like a whole different level to americans are they like mean as hell is that what it is yeah oh great well, so, no they're in general they're really nice people but when it comes to like collecting or any kind of pop culture thing they're like immediately not interested just like oh what the fuck is this kid toy bullshit mm-hmm. so uh yeah that'll be quite funny i reckon yeah uh, dude, I think that would be great. When I come to Australia, we'll do it. Or if you come to the States, dude, I think that would be pretty fun. We can do that. The plan is currently uh, my dad's 60th is this year. So he wants to, he's never been to the States. So he asked if we would go with him to uh, Florida and a couple of other places at the end of the year. His birthday's in December. Uh, so we said yes, but that was before we had the baby so <laughs> we'll see how we go it's a long flight for her she'll be one year old so yeah. maybe possible well justin kiko knows this but i don't know if you do I, there, I don't need a reason to go to florida mm. dude like florida like i will literally go to florida I've never anytime been. dude florida is like my favorite i've never place. been so i would love to move there the alligators yeah. are a little bit concerning but the rest of it is pretty cool so wow. but um we got a couple of the super chats. I think we, so we got Derek. If I missed any guys, please let me know. D'Angelo, 499. I got to go to work, but NR is making me conflicted. Still looks amazing. Still also love you, Justin. Fix black suit Toby. <laughs> it's hey, such hey. a hashtag. Have you seen that, Justin? The black suit Toby hashtag? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. I, <laughs> I, I didn't know what that was until I got the uh, Hot Toys friendly neighborhood spider. I have the new head now, finally, with the fixed thing, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I see, I see what they're talking about now. There are things that they should maybe adjust, but I don't, yeah. they won't. I promise yeah. you they won't. Well, you're probably not. SJC is super chat. They want Justin's thoughts on the one six Joker J and D. What are your thoughts? Justin? <laughs> Cause Kiko's got his, I know. I pre-ordered that just to see what it's like. I felt, I felt like obligated to do that just out of curiosity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I did not or pre-order the Bruce Wayne. So <laughs> no one did. They, they had me. <laughs> I was already pretty trepidatious with Joker. I was like, oh, another Joker. All right, let's give it a go. And then there Bruce, Bruce Wayne. I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm nowhere, going nowhere near that. I was tempted by that Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, though, that they put up for pre-order. But then nobody does a Batman Returns Batman. They always go 89. Like, Prime 1 is doing Catwoman and 89 Batman. Different movie, bro. You can't have them together. It just it drives my OCD crazy. They're definite. So I was like, I don't know if they're going to do Keaton. So, no. I was just going to say there are different dis- different yeah. discrepancies in those suits so you could not yeah. put them together. You ca- it does it doesn't make sense like maybe they can only get the rights to do Keaton in the 89 cuz even Hot Toys 2.0 Keaton is only 89 they didn't do a return suit. It would have been awesome if they did both. But um maybe there's some licensing thing they're like, "No, nah, Keaton won't approve anything with his likeness unless it's 
89 because that's his favorite movie or something like that. I don't know. Dude, I got to upset the chat real quick because I oh, feel no. I feel, I feel like well. the only great Batman movie is the Dark Knight trilogy. Like I feel like the other Oh no. Like oh, no, I I've, I've seen 89. I've not seen the other ones to be fair. So I'm an ignorant bitch, but I will Batman say the Returns end of the I think you might like. Yeah, Returns I might like, but 89 I was like it's good. I liked it. I wouldn't watch it again. But it was, you know. I know what the issue is. <laughs> What is it? I know what the issue is. Anytime I've recommended a movie to Will <laughs> that's older than maybe 10 years. This is fact. Immediately right? is like, nope. nah, bro, <laughs> it's not good. So I think, I think, Will, and it's not your fault, that it just, you had to watch it when it was fresher. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. and looking at something it. older now, you don't have that nostalgia or that that, you know, uh, you haven't grown up with it, so it, you don't look at it the same way that we do, perhaps. Mm. And not that I'm that. Why old, does he like really, Terminator? Though I, is that I grew up with Terminator. Okay, that, there it is. There's your <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. See, yeah. I think that's why. Like, I'm curious when when we show our kid, like '89 Batman or something, what the reaction is going to be like. But I do I mean, know that I showed my sister. Obviously, she's seen all of those films, and she's <clears throat> 16 now, and she still loves them. So. But then again, she's a kid, so fucking hell. I don't know. Well, I think I'd, I'm just young and hard. You, that's, that's why I know all the, the lingo. Like, you know, uh, when I say no I think so. Shit. I think you just don't like old movies, yeah. Will, and that's fine. I like old movies. I like, I like some. I mean, he Lord of the Rings. He doesn't understand what's come before, and he doesn't appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do appreciate <laughs> you just, it. Dude. You just need to put yourself in the mindset of someone in the 80s watching that Batman film yeah. When all you've ever had is 66 <laughs> Adam West Batman, which yeah, is amazing. It's that's like run, getting the dark night. Yeah, like, it's just a contrast. Yes. That, for them, that's their, dark, that's their dark night. Like for my dad, for example, that's his dark night. It's like that was the thing. Like the hype back then was insane. Yeah. Uh, but Batman Returns is such a vibe. Like I, I think you might enjoy that. Maybe. I think. Well, I mean, Maybe. Justin, I, I will say this. That to me sounds yes. like somewhat of an overreaction, but you know what also is an overreaction? The initial reaction yes. to the in art Batman. And that's one of my best segments. Why are we back at why are we- <laughs> because the in art Batman is all the rage right now? That's what the kids are saying. So, you know, uh oh, so we okay. gotta talk about this. So, Justin, is this a definitive yes. re- lesson on overreaction? And I wanna share I wanna share a very special photo in the hearts of the community because oh, God. I, I think there's is something bad? this this is it right here. So this is the photo that Kiko oh, no, okay. calls quite a stir in the community with. He uh, he, he, he did he, what uh, a good you YouTuber that? will do, I guess, and he created <laughs> an amazing video. The video, I watched the whole thing. It's a great video, I will say. But uh, is this, Justin, we, you told me this. We, you know, we used to be friends way back in the day, and I used to overreact all the time. <laughs> you used you were to like, do Will. this all the time. You were like, well, yes. <laughs> you were like, you got to stop this shit. <laughs> because, and I was like, Justin, I will die on this hill. Yes. I'll die because this figure is not good. And you were like, well, like, you have to wait a little bit until they come out and say, I'm like, I don't agree with you. And then eventually I started to think, okay, yeah. I'll probably still do it. It but, happened a couple of times, I reckon. Yeah, but like in our Pennywise, that actually is one where it happened. Mm, I even messaged true. Johnny about that. I was like, Johnny, why did you betray me like this? And and he was like, it's fine, dude. And I was like, it, okay, we'll see. And it turned out great. But nonetheless, Justin, I have to ask you, is the Batman, is it yeah. our final lesson on overreaction? Because the community went a total 180 degrees on this one. And it's still, we might be overreacting now to be fair, to look at this both ways, because we don't have this figure in hand mm-hmm. yet. So to say it's good could yes. be an overreaction also, which is my point here. Like, are we are we repeating history here? What are your thoughts? I think this will always happen. Um, it happens with hot toy. It happens with anything, really, to be totally honest with you. Um, I think it, it's bound to happen no matter what we do. People in general, um, we like to jump to conclusions right away because it's easy and uh, we want to move on to the next thing. So I think that this is always going to happen and the cycle of pictures come out, they're either amazing or they're terrible and they just show the product either in an amazing light or a terrible one and then we have an initial judgment and then it's either a big thing or it isn't and then when the thing comes out, it's either confirmed or it's rectified and people are like, oh, fucking hell, it's actually really good. I have seen this in doing YouTube so many times and people will always message me like, oh, Justin, did you see those pictures? It looks fucking awful. I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. I never make a video on anything because I just want to wait to get it or to see it in hand or people to have in hands 
And even then I probably won't talk about it until I can see it myself just because I want to be true to my own like first thoughts and seeing the thing in hand. But that doesn't mean that necessarily it's an overreaction. Um, people putting out their first impressions of something, I think is a good idea because it, it takes the temperature of the room essentially. People can tell us how they're feeling about what they're seeing. And then uh, it's like I said, it's either confirmed or it's not when the thing comes out and either the videos and the comments will age well or they won't. Uh, but it, it would be good if we could stop doing that collectively, not just with in-art, but also with Prime 1, Hot Toys, whatever. Uh, I don't think that is ever going to happen though. So it's a lesson, but not a definitive one to answer your question, Will. That's a good answer, Justin. Answered very respectfully and professionally, as always. But Thank yeah, you. that's... And of course, very diplomatically. And But I don't know if Kiko is going to answer it the same way. Because Kiko has very different experiences and different takes and different perspectives than both of us. But Kiko, I got to ask you the question, bro. Is this a definitive... What have you learned at the end of this? Because I know this, is, this has been quite the journey for you. What are your thoughts on this? And I, I know you have a guest, too, by the yeah. way, if she wants to jump in. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to start by quoting the great Conor McGregor when he says, I want to take a moment to apologize to absolutely nobody. <laughs> That's exactly That's one of his like most iconic quotes. I know. It's like, I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. And uh, Kiko, I, I, do you I see wanna... him in Roadhouse, by the way, when he's like, what Absolute. the fuck That's is so going stupid. on here, dude? <laughs> like, like, no need for that. Like, he literally just played himself. It was yeah, so he ridiculous. He was so strange in that movie, honestly. He's you like watched it, Justin? I haven't right seen it now. yet. He is yeah. coked out right now. Yeah, yeah, we watched it. That movie went... Like, I did not expect it to go the way. I'd never seen the original, so I had no idea. The movie went to places that I was like, really? This is what we're watching? It was, it was enjoyable. Like, Steph and I liked it, but it was just a great... Towards the end, it was like insane movie. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, Kiko, go ahead. No, no worries. I'm just... That, that's a perfect segue, is that I'm not apologizing to anything or for anybody. But I have learned that perception is truly in the eye of the beholder. So if... Someone says that this is the greatest thing ever, and then someone says this is ass. Okay, then they think it's ass. And if someone mm -hmm. says the in art looks more like Pattinson or the Hot Toys one looks more like Pattinson, it's going to come down to them. But will I think it'd be fair to get an official analysis of which one officially looks better? Amy <laughs> is coming on the show right dude, now. First time Amy on the show, dude. Justin, on, Amy is Kiko's down. wife, by the way. Yeah. So I don't think you met her before. Well, you can sit on my lap. <laughs> we need, so, by the way, before Amy goes, Kiko, I want to say, yeah. I showed my coworkers today, all women, by the way, mm -hmm. I showed them all the, the Inard Batman and the Hot Toys Batman. And, dude, they all shit all over the Hot Toys Batman. All of them. Okay. Like, really? Justin, all of them, dude. But I showed them the head sculpts, not the cow version. The cow version, right? So, I showed them just the head sculpts. Okay, okay. Dude, okay. can Amy hear us, Kiko? Or do you have um, No, I don't know how to make it to where. Let me see here. I uh, might have to give her, like, one headphone or something. Well, but, I can't do that. But Kiko, can, um, you, let's can you translate the message? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here's the audio output. Can you relay the message to Amy that I said, I, I don't entirely agree with her on the patents and head sculpt, but I don't, I think it's okay. I don't think it's terrible. I think Hot Toys head sculpt is okay. He thinks the hot, well, here, I'm going to put the microphone to her and she's okay. going to take these and she's <laughs> going to talk to y'all for a second. Nice. Okay, let me add them. Amy. <laughs> Amy, hello. Amy, you're live on the podcast. Say hello to 265 people who would love to meet you right now. Hello. <laughs> this is Justin, by the way, Amy. Justin, I'm here to Amy. make my Hello, baby. nice to meet you. Hey, Justin, it's nice to see you. Yeah, Amy, dude, nice it's funny, you. Kiko. Kiko does Amy's accent really effective. So Amy, he plays your accent all the time on the stream. And by the way, he does a really good job. Of it. Is that what you think? Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's pretty accurate. He's pretty screen accurate. No, I would say that's so. fake yeah. news. Just <laughs> like <laughs> what we're about to talk about. Amy, so tell us your thoughts on, on the, the Hot Toys uh, Pattinson and the Inart. Do you think the Inart is vastly superior? I think that's the idea I got from you, right? Um, so if that's actually how it is, then yes. Um, <laughs> When I was looking at it, I said, obviously, I know that that's Batman, but I had no clue who that was supposed to be. I'm like, I know I don't watch all of them, but I'm telling you, I looked at that and he said, oh, that's Robert Pattinson. And I said, uh-uh, that's Bill. Like, <laughs> that's like Bill? Who's Bill? Bill Pattinson or something. Okay. Like, that's, I don't know who that's supposed to be. That doesn't look like him. And, you know. I studied vampire vampirology, and I can tell you, I know what his face looks like, and that is not it. But I will say on the in art one, if it's correct, what the picture looks like, the stubble on the face looked a bit more realistic. 
because I think you want to be able to cover somebody's eyes and be able to tell who who that is. And same with covering their mouth. Like that's why you know if you're trying to be mysterious, that's why celebrities wear sunglasses, right? Because you can't see their eyes. So I think that the Hot Toys one, it just doesn't look like him. Really? So what would you rate it out of ten, Amy? If you were to rate the Hot Toys one, um, I'd give it. I mean, it, it looks good. I just don't know who that is. <laughs> Like no, it, the, it's being it, dramatic. No, the, like, <laughs> I, I couldn't. I asked you who that was. Well, I know that, but I just that's being so well, dramatic. Well, Amy, Kiko, Powell. does Amy know how much these cost? Just because we're live. Oh, she knows. <laughs> okay, okay. I know does. you know everything. <laughs> you don't. You don't miss anything. So you know the Hot Toys one costs like what? Like uh, regular version is like three hundred and five, and deluxe is like three seventy. In art's like what? Deluxe four seventy five. So would you pay the extra like one hundred and seventy five for the in art one? I mean. If you were Kevin, if you were Shoot. Kevin, would you do that? Because, uh, I mean, you don't like the hot to his head sculpt. So do you feel like the NR1 is worth that extra money? I guess. I mean, the whole point <laughs> is to look at him, right? So it needs to look like the person. So that's what I think. Like, if, if but, it does the same thing, if it's like a product that does the same thing, but it's cheaper, sure. But, like, I had to question who that was. I didn't know who that but was. But people are saying they think the cow jaw is better on the hot toys one. People are saying that. Yeah, yeah. That no, that's no, I could not disagree. I can more. pull that up. Yeah, I but. could not disagree more. Really? So you think so, Justice? Yeah, you the, said the, the the cow is better on the inner one. You're saying both both head sculpts are better with the inner. I've literally I had had them side by side. The first thing I did but is for Justin is just recency uh, bias. He's got the new one in his hand, so that, of course that one's the best one right now. Wait, so Justin has? I both promise them. you, Kiko. Yeah, I have both of them, Amy. I promise you, I do not succumb to any kind of bias, whether it's recency or otherwise. <laughs> I promise you. I'd be a pretty shit professional reviewer if that was the case. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. Well, so Amy, like, what about the cow version? I mean, this is, I can pull up the Hot Toys, but this is the in-art one. I mean, does this, does this one look any, like, better or worse to you than the, the rooted hair head sculpt? I mean, no, is this something you would use? Um... I'm having to like look on this small screen. Um, <laughs> you guys got excellent vision. Um, I'm so that's the in art one. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch the movie, Amy? The Pattinson Batman movie? No, I didn't. That's why I had uh, to question okay. who it even was. Because she knew how damn long it was. And how <laughs> mid it was. And I'm mid, but you've studied Pattinson, like you said, because you've seen Twilight. I do so think that looks more like Robert Pattinson. I just do. Yeah. Like I the too. details, like so. They are very similar, but even in like the stubble on the face, definitely liked better on the in art one. Mm. What about the rooted hair, Amy? Does that does that change any of it to you? What you mean the rooted? Like hair? you know how like the in art one has like like <laughs> human hair basically versus like the the hot toys one has like sculpted plastic hair. You know what I mean? Plastic. Oh, hair, I didn't even hair. notice that. Yeah, it's like the in art. I can find a better picture, yeah. but the in art one has a rooted hair. So like. I'll show the I'll show the infamous photo again, maybe the the bad oh, one. But the in art one has I mean you can get a sculpted one, Amy, with rooted, but like see, see this. Um see how like the hair yes, is yes. like it's rooted, so it's like you know it's like a, you have to style it a little bit, like the crybaby salon. You have to style it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But uh but I will say you could do that and then compare to the hot toys one, which is a sculpted piece, right? So Oh well obviously I think the real hair would be better, wouldn't you? Not yeah. when you not okay, so this Joker right there. Remember, I had to go get your little makeup brush to fix the Joker's hair because it was so bad. Because that rooted that rooted hair was terrible. Now, if you are paying that much for something, I do expect the hair to be like perfection. Otherwise, just make it plastic. That's true. Amy, would you would you style this if someone brought this into the Crybaby Salon? I mean, like you have to be careful because I'm assuming it's synthetic, and <laughs> synthetic hair um, will melt if you put heat on it. Really? above a certain degree but like sometimes it needs to be a certain degree to style mm. so yeah. it's it's tricky um i mean you just have to like get it wet i guess huh <laughs> yeah i guess so okay, amy, amy last question did you see kiko's video on the batman did i see it <laughs> no, because no? you, you didn't see his blasphemy that he put out there. And then oh, his... he was talking about me? No, not about you. Oh, not about you. He was talking about blasphemous saying that this. <laughs> I showed her this picture though. Did you? Did you? No, it's nice. Yeah, no, like, we had who? a. What is this? This is the in art one. This is the photo that got Kiko. Why is the, wait? Why does this one look different? That's see? what I'm saying. That's what Kiko said. That's what Kevin said. No, the, the other picture. That's a that's a weird angle. He looks. Very yeah, it's a weird. See. There. 
Amy, as a non-collector, you even realize it's a weird angle. And Art didn't realize that when they posted it. Yeah, it's a bad it. angle. Yeah, it's a real bad It's angle. a bad angle. Like, that doesn't even this, look like right? the same. Do you or think compared... like, that looks like it, Justin, in real life? No, it doesn't. That That's a really, really bad angle. I don't know what kind of focal length they were using as well, but it's uh, way off compared to what it looks like in real life. Yeah. Oh my God. That is more accurate, that picture there. Right. And again, this one. And there are other ones out yeah. there. Other photos, okay, but... that does look like Cam. Yeah, it mm -hmm. does. And the rooted hair, Amy, it's going to be worth it. So Kevin's going to have both. He, I know he's going to have both Batman. He loves Batman now. So, yeah. So why get both, it. though? If you're trying to, if you're trying to like, live <laughs> it. I mean, she's one. right. She is right. But so you can have true. one with the mask on and one without. And this one has the better without the mask. So that's the whole point. That sounds like that sounds like dude. That's justification. I'm a, I'm selling <laughs> I'm selling my Hot Toys one actually now. I've now that I was waiting to see which one I was going to keep because I only have room for one. So I I'm going to sell my Hot Toys one. He that's needed my one. input. That's what that's what happened there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well. Yeah, we did. We, Amy, we needed you because, uh, like I said, that's why I like doing the videos on the street because I like getting people who don't collect their input because it's valuable. You guys are more objective, I feel like, than we are. Like we we tend mm. to like I can say like we tend to be more like uh, forgiving. I feel like some of us we're more critical in some ways, but like if the head sculpt's not perfect, we'll be like okay, but like I still want the character. Like when I show some of this stuff to my coworkers, they're like that doesn't look that looks like shit. It looks like Robert doesn't look like Robert Pattinson. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So you guys can be more objective than we are because we got money involved. Like, you know, we got a million other things. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, that was fun. Eh? There you go. I need to be on the show more often. <laughs> Amy, did you enjoy your first appearance? Well, no, you yeah. must, when Tico was at your shop, you were on. Remember? I knew. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, I was working. I'm not me when I'm working. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Amy, do you have any final thoughts on this Batman figure? Um, I'm excited to see the next one because then maybe I can make a comment in person <laughs> holding both of them in my hands and saying which one is actually Robert Pattinson, which one's the real Batman. It'll be like the Spider-Man meme where they're pointing at each other. <laughs> yeah, that would be great, actually. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Kiko, are you going to do that video? You need that video with Amy in it. Yeah. Yeah, he'll do it. Yeah. Sorry, you can't hear me. I forgot. But anyway, so Amy, thank you so much for joining us. We love your thoughts. Of course. And uh, um, of course, I'll be coming to Tennessee to see you guys soon. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Well, nice yeah. to meet you, Justin. Goodbye. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, <laughs> Excellent thoughts, dude. That's what we needed. That's what we needed, Kiko. We needed those. Thank you for that uh, opportunity to divert from the original line of questioning. So. Hopefully Honestly, that. though, I will say, guys, we can put Kika, we can put Amy's uh, Instagram and TikTok in there. You can follow her. Um, <laughs> sure. so, but she does uh, mukbangs. So, you know, Justin, have you ever seen mukbang before? I've heard of it. I've not, I've not watched. People, people, Kiko's done them like where you just eat on camera. Like people love you it. You make it seem like I yeah. do a lot of them. I've done one. I've like, <laughs> like, done like two, <laughs> two or three. <laughs> yeah. So they've, Kiko ate like a whole, like, you, how many cheeseburgers did you eat that day, dude? That was like just was two. Like, oh, okay. I thought it was like a cheeseburger meal. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty good anyway so guys i think uh we got straight away on this topic but um i think that i mean do you guys have any final thoughts on this batman is there anything else we want to say about it no <laughs> very definitive justin <laughs> just like absolutely not kiko do you have anything else to say on this batman uh, just thank you for letting amy come up and show hello dude hello. we should we should be thanking her dude, for gracing us with her presence so but guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below about uh, this Batman. Of course, I think uh, there's a lot of great thoughts out there. And, uh, you know, I do think a lot of people overreacted, but I've done that 8 million times mm. in this hobby. So I cannot say that I'm guilt free because I've, I did it with my boy Pennywise. So, yeah. Um, so I think it was Mark who said, True. Will, just that Han Solo video. That was, I still believe that. I, that's not overreaction. I still believe that hair is ass. But uh, I, guess, I guess we'll see how that turns out in the long run. But, um, guys, bear with me while I scroll up and get these super chats. Um, because again, with Melon, this is the baller on a budget streaming service because you can't actually star these like you do in StreamYard. You actually have to go through and scroll back through the chat and find them all. So if this stream ever gets large to the point where we can't, someone's going to have to, like, we're going to find another way. <laughs> because, uh, like I said, I have to literally go through the comments now to get everything. So that said, uh, I think we have one from Dirk. And guys, if I miss one, let me know. But uh, Justin, does the NR Batman work on mm. the bat cycle? What do you think? Well, the articulation is uh, a little bit better, so I don't see why it wouldn't. If you, as long as he can sit, it'll be fine. So I think it, it would work. I'll try it in the in the review, obviously. So have the bat cycle. I'm going to keep the bat cycle. 
Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Nice. Well, Justin, are you reviewing the uh, the the bat signal too? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna. I've got the all in set, so um, okay. I have to now wrangle this absolutely fucking huge light on camera. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. It's cumbersome. It hurts my back. So you know, I, I'm I'm gonna do my best. But that's why when I review the Hot Toys bat signal, because the fucker is so awkward, I had to break up into like one minute chunks focusing on each part because doing it all in one go, holding this light and not being out of breath while trying to wrangle it is literally impossible. And this light's slightly bigger than the Hot Toys one. So it's going to be even more challenging. How heavy is it? Did <laughs> but you hopefully, I, hopefully I do a good job. It's not that heavy. Either. It's okay, it's not pretty like much the same pounds. as the Hot Toys one, honestly. Okay. No, 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 no. It's pretty much the same as the Hot Toys one in terms of weight. Okay. We got to see what Chad from How You Figure, by the way. He said, uh, Kiko acting like oh. he doesn't listen to the Kelsey Brothers podcast every week. This is going to be a great show. Dude. I will so not, much. have not, won't, and does <laughs> nothing. And I will not listen to Taylor Swift either. So you can go ahead and miss me with that bullshit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's it, Justin? Kiko does not like Taylor Swift at all. So just for the record, you see. No. Yeah, no, I do. Steph and I don't either. My sisters, though, are obsessed with it. What is with Taylor Swift people where every single conversation that I have with my sisters, somehow <laughs> it turns into talking about Taylor Swift. Like no matter what it is, it could be anything. They're like, oh, but you know, this thing about Taylor Swift. It's like, what the? Oh my God, I could not care. Well, it's Taylor easy Swift. because you could be like, I'm going to go see Deadpool. She's like, Taylor Swift's in that. There you go, right? She is, oh my God, is in that apparently. It will be. Yep. She, they're so obsessed. They went to the Melbourne show and then they flew to Sydney to go to the Sydney show as well. Mm. Justin, they're gonna make a Taylor cool Swift hot toy. To do that. Taylor Swift hot toy, dude, from Deadpool three. Well, no, she'll make it herself, and then she'll sell it to her fans, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. She'll even call it Taylor Swift hot. She's toy. a grifter. Yeah. Taylor Swift yeah. is a grifter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk I, about. I'm let's... not a fan personally, but you know. I mean, I don't really listen to her music. I like her though. I mean, she seems cool. I like Travis Kelsey. He seems cool. So um... he's a bum. <laughs> is he a bum? Is it? Wow. He's not a bum. You know who's not a bum either? This BBS Batman. He's oh. a two point out. He's he's basically there you like go. He's, yeah. See, he's like time to show him some love. Will yeah. I mean, see? Justin, I will say the Snyderverse. Mm, I mean, like you know the Snyder. I will say Snyder. Yeah, some better than others. Will agree. Snyder cut though, Justin. Snyder cut was pretty good. I will I will give Zack Snyder that that W on that one. But we got to talk about this because this honestly I felt like just came out of nowhere. And you know we got the deluxe version. And we got the standard version. One thing you know, you and I have been talking about this quite a bit actually. Just and Kiko's been saying it even in his reels and stuff like that. Um, the future of U.S. history and light up. It is moving to a very exciting place. Um, yeah, no, Mario, you can add, you can give me pause. Here. Like I will say, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll tell you why. I'll let you finish. First. Oh, okay, I'll okay. Why well, I'm I want to hear your thoughts on that. But before, yeah. I mean, I'm excited about it because I have that Darth Vader lit up right now, and I think he looks pretty good. But yeah. I will say, this Batman is going to have a, a base. You know, it has the light up uh, Kryptonian spear. It has the light up helmet. I think this is pretty cool. I honestly think this is cool. It's not for me because I don't give a shit about Batfleck or I don't care about Snyder Cut, but I do think it's mm -hmm. objectively a pretty cool figure. I do want to start with Kiko first, Justin, before I get to you, but I want to hear your thoughts on USB, but yes. Kiko, is this figure even worthy of a 2.0 treatment? Because I know Justin wants it, but I don't know if everyone else wants it. What are your thoughts? This is lights, camera, Batman is what this is. <laughs> yeah, <because laughs> this is all we're going to be it talking is, yeah. about today, apparently. And yeah. I know there's so many people that like the Snyderverse and like this iteration of Batman. But I mm -hmm. personally don't get mad at me, people. I personally don't see why this gets a 2.0 with simply putting die kit. The thing's already not articulatable. Is that a word? It's not able to articulate like it should because it's just a big chunk. And falls thing. over all the time. Does it? Might I add. And it, yes, it's, mine it's heavy. Does it's not the great. Time. Um, the, the only plus I see about this, and I, I think the die cast additional pieces is, is a gimmick and just makes, it's going to make it fall over even more. Um, so Agreed. I think the base and the spear, the, for as hype as I am on all these bits, cause I've been saying like, I got to find everything I got to plug in there. It's got you at, I'm going all in on lights and bases. Are they going a little bit too much because they haven't perfected the technology yet. And so right now we have the little chassis in the back of them with cables all over the fucking place. And if you're not, mm. it, it, it's not a clean system right now yet. They need to continue to perfect it. And I don't know if they just want to just keep throwing things out there because they're like, oh, people will fucking buy it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Probably because I, I, 
I scroll, I troll, I look at the comments of things. Scroll there, and troll. There's a lot of people that are really excited. Like, hey, I, I missed the original one. I'm happy to get this. Good for you. But then there's the other people that are like, for sale, version 1.0, you know, they're automatically selling it now. You know how I feel about that. You know, the people that literally put their thing up. I don't like being without figures in my collection of some, if they have it in the first place, it obviously means something enough to keep it in their collection. Do, do they now want to spend a year without one? Like, I, I just don't understand that. And then they're like, well, I'm buying this one to get this new 2.0. But with what you're going to get for it, plus, you know, the inflationary nature of the beat, you're going to end up taking a loss to get this. And is it enough mm. of an upgrade outside of the base? Is it enough of an upgrade to warrant that? And to me, I would say absolutely not. Absolutely not. But happy for those that are. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, is my mic okay, guys? I saw the comment, by the way. I heard You're good. Now. You're fine. We're just like warbling cool. from yeah. Okay, cool, cool. We're good. Okay, cool. So, but yeah, Kiko, I totally understand. I mean, to me, this is not my type of figure. I, I've not seen... I, I've never owned the first one, right? So I can't really speak to that. I know Justin can, so we'll let him go in a sack. But yes. I think this looks really good. Cool. But I will say, I always had an issue with this suit, kind of. Like, how could you even fucking move? Like, how could you fight? It's massive. Well, it was a practical suit, Will. He did move in Just to keep him alive. That's all it is I mean, it Superman... I mean, I guess you have the Kryptonian spear. It's a fair fight at that point. But beyond that, I mean, Superman, yeah. he, he kind of whipped his ass a little bit. But, you know, nonetheless, I mean, let Justin go ahead. Justin, is this worthy of a 2.0? Yeah. You've had the 1.0 and the 2.0. So is this worthy of yes. a, of a 2.5? What are your thoughts? Uh, I think there are enough little things that they've done here that some people aren't really talking about that I think yes is probably the, the this most straightforward answer. I mean this helmet they did a battle damage one right but it was completely inaccurate they had the eye on the right side still an led powered eye where here this is way more accurate you can actually see his real human eye that's how it's supposed to be so that's a massive deal for me now in terms of accuracy this is true to what we saw on screen whereas the 1.0 just isn't he, didn't, he never had the the lens in when his face was exposed like this and they fixed the expression before he was like almost smiling with the battle damage one. It's like, what, what's going on there? So they fixed that. Um, also, they've combined both releases. So you have battle damage and normal in one. So you can, you don't have to buy two figures essentially. You can just switch out the parts depending on what you want to go with. Or if you are crazy like me, you're going to pick up two of them. You can have one battle damage and one clean. Die cast, total gimmick, completely unnecessary. The thing with going with die cast is that whenever they do, nine times out of ten, if it's not used for structural integrity, like any, the inside of a joint, to because there's a lot of stress on that, they want to make it out of die cast, that's when I think they should use metal. Making armor out of die cast means that the detail is always going to be softer. We saw it with the Mark I die cast compared to the plastic one. The plastic one had more detail on the surface of the armor because... The metal just meant that everything was smooth. You can't, you can't cast super fine details out of die cast, at least not yet. So I think that that's a gimmick and unnecessary. And I think it's going to make this guy even more difficult to stand compared to the 1.0, who already topples over all the time, which is extremely frustrating. The USB thing, uh, I think we're way off it being perfected. Having a cable plugged into the figure's ass and cables dangling everywhere, absolutely not. 100%. The way that I would do it is have an internal power supply, which you could plug in and leave plugged in if you want to, so the ass thing is still possible. Or you can unplug it, and then you can push a button, and it's got a couple of hours, a couple of days worth of charge, and you can power the fucker up. Or put the power supply in the base and transfer power through the figure that would be my that ultimate solution what I want. because that is because then you can have the base light up and the figure light up with one cable that would be perfect in my opinion and they can do it so we'll see but i think that we're still in the infancy of usb being perfect um yeah that that's just my opinion on the usb situation i don't know if people will think i i'm crazy honestly no i mean I, th I think it's a step in the right direction we'll I think that's see. how we do it you know what i mean because justin is that possible I, though yes. where you can have the power through the absolutely base like that? yeah absolutely i mean we've seen um we've, yeah we've seen statues do it um that, it's quite a straightforward 
technology at this point. I think they can. The, the base thing that I do want to address, they need to stop fucking giving us a standard exclusive display base and a deluxe display base. The deluxe needs to come with both bases. There should not be something that I cannot get if I'm spending the most amount of money possible on this fucking thing. Also, <laughs> that is not a display base. That is a, 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 a statue. Because where where does he stand? Where? On that tiny little, little part at the front, that tiny little platform right there in the front? This is going to be a nightmare display base to work with. I promise you, just like the stupid fucking Iron Monger display base with this tiny <laughs> sliver, this sliver of space that you're supposed to stand the Mark III on. When is a base not a base? When it's made by Hot Toys. This um. is a sick looking piece of art, but it is not a display base. That is a terrible display base. All of their deluxe display bases, maybe hyperbole, not every single one of them, some of them quite good. For the most part, all of their recent deluxe upgrade bases have been awful as display bases. They just look cool as a little art piece, like a scene, if you will. But that's, compared to the standard base, you're going to be able to get way more poses out of your Batman on the normal flat display base than this thing. And that I is think they assume that if you're getting the deluxe, you're going to want to pose it there. You don't want to have the second. I see what you're saying, but I think that's what they are assuming. You need to have both bases, Kiko. You're paying more. You need to get both. I get like, it. They but used to why do would it. they include it, though? If they if you're getting the di diorama display piece, why wouldn't you it just play it on it? It can't be expensive for them to include it, though. That's no, it no, they, can, they absolutely can. They used to do it with Christopher Reeve, for example. You got the diorama and you got the standard base. With Spidey, Tobey Maguire, standard base and diorama base. It's not necessarily a question of, like, why would you need it? I think it's, you're paying more, you're getting the deluxe. It immediately, to me, that means I'm getting everything that I get with the standard one. Like when you do a Patreon. If you're at the highest tier, you get everything that was in the previous tiers, plus some additional benefits. That's, to me, what a deluxe is. It's not like you go to McDonald's and they're like, oh, you're getting a large meal? Okay, well, you don't get the chips with that one. So what? <laughs> wait a second, what do you mean? I've upgraded. I need to get everything. Like, no, 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 if you want, you've got to get that over here and then this is over here. We need, the deluxe needs to come with both bases so you have the options. It's about options. Because you could say the same thing about anything, really. It's like, well, why would you want that? You're getting this one. It's, it doesn't become a deluxe or standard at that point. It becomes an A or a B. Make a lot of that's that's how I see it. He's also mentioned McDonald's on this stream twice, and I'm so I'm hungry now. There's a McDonald's I'm so right down the road. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> Not a sponsor, but we would love for them to be. Yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. they want to give us a call. You know, we'll, I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll we could talk. I mean, they, you know, maybe they agree Ronald, about the basis. Or McDonald. You review their <laughs> Happy Meal toys. Review their Happy Meal toys. Yeah, we could. We could review. I hope they articulate. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's you know, maybe I don't know they can the include this there. base as one of them. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know what the pre-order window is for McDonald's toys, but it, you know, it can't be it can't be worse than uh, some of the hot did, toys. Did you see that Happy Meal thing recently, where they made like an adult version of Happy Meals, and then they were no. they had the toys, but they were like really weird and really expensive. <laughs> no, like collectors. They do that in the states toys? a lot. Yeah, they do that do in they? the states there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't go to McDonald's. Yeah. It was a it was a new thing for us. They they had this Happy Meal thing, and they're like these little potato head guys, but they're like. I don't know how to put this nicely. They're like uh, little gangster ones. Like they had like gold chains and like stuff. It was very Are weird. They silicone, they were like they were stereotyped. <laughs> yeah, they were stereotyped potato heads. Oh, okay. That's not, yeah, that's yes, not the good. Kerwin Frost thing, Revenge of the, I assume that says Sith. I can't see it. My window's too small. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't see the rest of your name. So, but yes, the Kerwin Frost meal. That's what they. That's what, what is, in a, what is in a Happy Meal nowadays? Like. Whatever you want, really. Like, you know, can you fruit choose? slices. Or... Oh, okay. Yeah, you can choose. But it has like a burger and yeah. fries still, right? Like, that's the standard. That's what you want. Oh, or, or you can, can have nuggets. nuggets. You can have yeah, chicken You can get nuggets yeah. with it? Dude. Yeah. Nugs with some sweet and sour? Steph that loves those nice. McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, Steph loves the, the McDonald's chicken nuggets. I think they're the most flavorless, tasteless little... That's why they give you the I'm sauce, though, bro. <laughs> <my life. laughs> You need the sauce to drown. That's what she says. That's what she says. And I was like, well, then you're just eating the sauce. You may as well not even bother with the nuggets. Just skip them entirely. Did she try the Wick Donald Land sauce where it's the <laughs> M with the W? Did you see that? We don't have that here, Kiko. We don't get all oh, this yeah, stuff. It, it was like a, a special like anime version of sauce that really? was incredible. Yeah, it was awesome. 
Wick. We no, had no, no. the uh, curry sauce from the UK McDonald's, and that surprisingly was really good. You got, I'm gonna have to go, to, Mc, sound like go, have to, go to McDonald's. I, I have to say, let's fly to Australia just to go to <laughs> Mixtralia's. Dude, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, do it. We all, I also want to go we to pop culture, here. but we'll hit McDonald's first. We'll go to McDonald's first, then we'll go to pop culture. Yeah, pop culture, you should definitely go to. I was trying to convince Inart to host an event because we're quite close to China. We're only an eight hour flight to host an event at pop culture because their gallery is absolutely awesome. Um, but that, it's a work in progress. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but that would be awesome if they, it would be a lot easier to fly the fuckers the figures down here than it was to fly them to the States. I know that much. Yeah. Well, Justin, you have a question here. Michael De Del Castillo. Thank you so much, bro. $10. Justin, don't you have a oh. Mark 85 that's touch activated to light it up? True. Is that tech feasible to be mass produced or, would, or will it jack up the prices? Justin, what are your thoughts? The only reason why that is so expensive is because some dude has to rip it open and install the uh, electronics, the do the conversion. If that was done at the factory, then all it really is, is like I said, an internal power supply and a touch sensor. Um, if there was room for that guy to do the internal power supply, then there is absolutely room for Hot Toys to do it and they can do it themselves. So yes, I think that would be my perfect solution um, is the base thing. But the second option would be the internal power supply and yeah, that they could do. I don't see why not. Yeah, that sounds great. Justin, it's, are you on a highway yeah. right now? It sounds like I see. I hear all the cars oh. going by, dude. <laughs> yeah, we live uh, we live on a main road, but at oh, okay. this, we're right at the front of the house. That's my front door. So oh, nice. when you're like even slightly further down, you can't hear anything. So mm. let me see if I can turn on that That's voice fine. isolation thing. It's fine. Oh, I, I wasn't Mike sure if you, were, if you were in danger. Now okay. you shouldn't be able to hear anything. I put the voice isolation on. Yeah, I think it sounds better, dude. It sounds a lot better. Yeah, yeah. I should have asked sooner, dude. I should have spoken up. That's crazy. But anyway, it, sound, it sounds good, dude. You sound great. So, uh, guys, Thanks. you know, stop me if you've heard this one before. In art. Oh, God. Because, <laughs> because, yeah, well. because uh, we got to talk about this. Because right? Gandalf, like, Kit posted an update, by the way, which I do want to share with people. Because honestly, like, it's very, it's very Kit sense of humor. Those who know him know kind of how he is. Like, he just, he can kind of be that way sometimes. Uh, and like, a, he's just, he's direct, I guess you could say. Um, so mm -hmm. like I wanted to bring this up because he noted that the final batches of Gandalf are finally going to start shipping and I want to touch on this yeah, topic nice. briefly because look this Gandalf had been delayed for a very long time right a lot of people are still waiting for this Gandalf it's been I know Justin you posted your review like eight months ago six seven months ago something like that ago, yeah, yeah it's been a long time and I posted mine like six months ago so I've had that thing so I, I empathize with people not having it in hand but my question more so I want to start with people on this one is our collector is going to accept this length of delay again because this was an abnormal one. This was an abnormal wait here. Joker, I didn't feel was this long. Pennywise certainly was not. I don't expect Batman will be considering they've said they've updated their production and increased capacity. I guess we'll see. But Kiko, are, are collectors going to be willing to jump on the NR bandwagon, the pre-order bandwagon again, if they have to wait this long? What are your thoughts on that? When I made my fear-mongering video, uh, <laughs> the biggest thing when we were talking about the way things looked most people didn't they're like well we'll wait and see for the photos but what because i also mentioned mm. the system of delivery 90 percent of every comment was saying the weight the batches the delivery sucks that's what pretty much everyone and i think everyone says and agrees with that i don't think there's anybody that's saying you know i think it's great you know we get it when we get it i don't think there's anybody really saying that honestly everyone yeah. wants things when they can get it as quick as they can let's just be honest about that we are a now 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 give me give me give me that's what we want that's mm -hmm. what we want we're, we're a TikTok era you know you get bored really quick swipe 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 you know that's the same thing with our stuff as soon as something comes in we're looking for the next thing to come in that's just who we are but forgive me all the Lord of the Rings fans out there if this delay type of thing happens with the Batman they're going to have serious problems because mm -hmm. people are beyond hyped for it there are multiple versions there's Bruce Wayne there's Batman there's sculpted there's rooted there's bat signal there there's I feel like there's a lot of things that could go wrong because there's so many different versions out there but if this happens with the Batman that's going to be a really sour taste in their mouth because as remarkable as the figure is it's going to get that knock on it to what they're like yeah, they make great shit if they ever get it out to you. That's going to be the thing that sticks with them. Mm. Like, because every, everyone talks about 
a lot of even the third party ones. What's the one that makes the gunslinger? Um, oh, Limb Toys. Yeah, Limb like, Toys. Stuff takes oh forever God, for Limb Toys, so and they make great stuff. Yeah. But they take you, like three years for a pre-order, and yeah. that's just yeah. not. It, and they've hurt themselves by that because people look at that and they're like, uh, "I'll find something else." Because we move on so quickly, and if everyone will be like, "Well, yeah, that Michael Jackson looks cool. Yeah, that and Art Danny looks cool." Yeah, even that Paul looks cool, but I'm still going to wait because I'm never going to get it anyway. Once people have buyer's remorse, by the time they put it up for sale, I'll be able to get it then. It, I just don't think it's a good situation. They've got to get that under control. Yeah, I guess that's fair. And, you know, and again, you know, uh, I am happy the people who wanted Pennywise got Pennywise. because That's a really good figure, too. But, uh, you know, yeah. I, I will say, Kiko, to that, I 100,000 I, percent agree that something needs to change for sure. The production needs to increase. I am giving I'm trying to give them a little bit of um you know, a slight pass in the sense that, you know, they are a startup, right? And they're trying to figure out this production thing. And, you know, I totally understand that. But again, it needs, it's something that needs to be addressed and needs to change. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, mm. I, I will say at the end of the day, though, everyone who's gotten their Gandalf, I'm seeing pictures left, you know, left, right, and center about the weight was worth it. This is amazing. This is one of the best figures I've ever had. So it still doesn't, you know, take some of that sting away for waiting so long, but it does feel rewarding when you finally get, no one's disappointed is what I'm saying, but we do need to change yeah. it. It's a problem that needs to be addressed. Justin, what do you think about this? Well, it's... I, I think now I understand why the batch thing doesn't really go over well in the States. Because y'all aren't used to batches. And in Australia, same thing. Because with Hot Toys, they... In fact, most companies do this. Batches are a thing, except in the States. Because one of the batches is the Sideshow batch. And it's the whole order for Sideshow. So in Hong Kong, if you pre-order, depending on the time you pre-order, you're assigned a batch. So like Ryan, for example, he'll go to Secret Base and if he's like an hour late, he may have missed the first batch window and then he'll have to wait for the text message a couple months later when the figure has come in, then he can go and pick it up when his batch is ready. They do that because making 10,000 of a figure and then releasing it is probably not feasible for warehousing and also for QC, like Deadpool, Deadpool 1. Remember the wrist issue yeah. where the suit was rubbing off? There are sometimes running changes and the wall, Wolverine display base. Thing. Toby's like head there are too. things they pick up. Yeah, Toby's exactly. head, exactly. They pick up on, on batches. So that's one of the reasons. But Ryan would go to Secret Base, he'd pre-order, and then he'd get a text message saying that his figure is ready, whether that's first, second, third batch or whatever. So it's very common. Nobody says anything. That's just, that's the way it is. But I know that in the States and in the West, I'm guilty of this. If I see something online, I'm like, well, why, why, why does this person have the thing? Like, why can't I have the thing? What is the batch? Why, why, why are we doing the batches? It's just not something that we're used to. And I don't think we're ever going to get used to. Because Sideshow and Hot Toys have set that precedent. It might not be a thing. It might be a thing in Hong Kong or wherever else. But for us, we get the Sideshow batch, it's 5,000 units or whatever, and then we send them out to all the customers. That's it. So it's always, there's always going to be a, well, a, a difference. It isn't necessarily an issue if the windows yeah. were shorter. Like, do the right. batches, that's fine, but you can't take a year from batch one to the final one. I mean, that's what is going on during that time. Yes, there is, that is true. I agree. They do need to shorten the windows between the batches. It just depends on the size of the batches, I suppose. Um, but Gandalf certainly wasn't think... that big, was it? I think it was like Gandalf normal. Gandalf was more more than Pennywise. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Well, Pennywise was the least. <laughs> Pennywise is the least, no doubt about it. Yeah, and Joker yeah, was the Joker, biggest. Joker, I think. Gandalf, yeah. Joker was absolutely the biggest. Um, oh. I think Harry Potter is now the smallest. Oh, dude. <laughs> and it's because he's the smallest also. So you're telling so. me Pennywise beat, beat Harry Potter. Well, Pennywise. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Let's go. <laughs> so I think um, if you pre-order Harry Potter, you won't have to stress too much about the batch system. <laughs> because you'll, you'll, have you'll be in the influence of that. <laughs> you'll be in the influence of that. You know, exactly. Uh, but yeah, I think that that's the one thing that I, I agree with you on, Kiko. What they need to work on is they need to shorten the windows between the batches. Uh, I'm not sure why there was like a, a such a delay and Ro says it has a good point sideshow does do batches in their statues too and those take six months between batches i've had that where i pre-ordered a statue uh this that robert pattinson bat cycle premium format i pre-ordered that uh pretty much as soon as it went up on sideshow and uh yeah people were getting it like maybe they put me last on the list because they, hate <laughs> they probably did. <laughs> um, 
they cancelled my affiliate account. I, I got an email about it from them. Um, so they said, they were like, dude, you, you're so naughty. You promoted uh, unlicensed figures. Like you reviewed unlicensed figures alongside Sideshow ones. And I replied like, oh, awesome. Uh, can you send me uh, the video link where I did that? Because I can promise you, I'm very, very careful. Each standalone video is its own thing. And I have not done a Sideshow review where I've brought in an unlicensed figure. Unless you can prove me otherwise, I would love to see it. So I, I know they're not going to let me back in. I was just having a bit of fun with them, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, but they yeah, like, the batches are a thing. <laughs> the, yeah, they're like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, the batches are a thing, and yeah, I agree. They need to shorten the windows between the batches, if possible. Yeah, I think so. Well, guys, there's some there's some great thoughts. You know, I think we talked about NR enough today. I mean, we 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 talked about NR. Yeah, I think Kiko. so. I think so, so. Yeah, we got to talk about J and D next, Kiko. No, I'm just kidding. We don't. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, every time I bring up J and D, Kiko just shuts down. Just oh, I don't want to talk about J and D. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything on J and D, so with no topics on there. Well, I think they've. I mean, oh, I, they God. haven't announced anything one six lately. So this topic is better yeah, that's for than the best. Bruce Wayne's parents. <laughs> it's too soon for that, Kiko. Wow. It's too soon, bro. Wow. It's been. Uh, you think years. they didn't sell many of those Bruce Wayne's and like fucking hell, one six scales hard, dude. Let's. I think up. that's yeah. I think that's what happened, yeah. He, the Joker sold out because I think it's like the Joker. And people were like, but the Batman had no value, dude. Like, the, for what it was costing. I told you that you will not see J&D again because they just kind of gracefully bowed out. They're like, hey, I think we're done here. And that's it's like, it. well, we tried our thing. They like they tried to Apple it. They're like, oh, you know, they're going to buy it because it's us. And I was told by someone at J&D, oh, we're so good at marketing. We're scary good. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Oh, it's scary, all right. I was terrified. What are you talking by about? Like, it's not, you know, what, what the fuck? <laughs> the most ludicrous thing I've ever been told. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, um, someone told me that as well, actually. Like, when I, I tried to get them on for an interview, and they were just like, nah, JD's really good at marketing, so they don't need any of that. And I was like, okay, well, that's fine. I that's hate fine. that. Like, what the hell? Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, we got to talk about something. Uh, you know, I'm actually going to save this other one because there's another topic on it. We got to talk about Thor. You know what? Because this is Thor oh, for Love and Thunder. You know, it's the best right. Thor that's ever been made, Justin. All right, all right. We'll do it. <laughs> yeah, Thor, Thor. Honestly, the t- I think the question here is very fair. Is this an easy pass? Like, you know, I started to look at this today. And again, this yes. is another one where I like getting, like, sort of how Amy commented on this, right? I like to get the gauge of my coworkers and ask them, it like, okay, it's non collector. Yeah. What do you thought? Justin, I asked them this and they said, this doesn't look like Chris Hemsworth at all. So I yeah, feel like this like, is a bit fucked. I, it is a bit fucked. Is it, Justin, is this the Age of Ultron head sculpt, but just updated? Could be. I have to wait to see. I'll compare it when I get it. I'll compare both heads. But they I only mean, have like three Chris Hemsworth heads floating around, really. <laughs> they just keep like, this, changing. Yeah, they do. And like they just keep using the same ones. I mean, this helmet look is pretty cool, but the movie was so mid. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? It's like, it's. Uh, they updated the arms. That's cool. Yeah, the arms look good. The costume, I saw the costume because uh, they shot a lot of Love and Thunder in Australia. So I saw the oh, nice. real Stormbreaker and the real costume. And from a costume perspective, it's very accurate. Uh, does he have moving eyes? No, right? Uh, I got to check on that. I don't think so. He does not. Yeah, this is because, one of the older ones. Yeah. How did Gore, how did Gore get moving eyes? But <laughs> not Gore was like right Valkyrie. at the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they're the same line. I feel like the, there's three... Because Jane gets in the line too. Yeah. Jane gets a movie. Oh, four. There's four figures. I forgot completely. Forgot about Mighty Thor. I'm actually excited about her. She's probably the yeah. Number that one. one's kind of same, but I reckon that's the best figure in the line. Um, but how did like they've never had a moving eye Thor? This would have been a perfect opportunity to do so. Right. That's true. Kiko, though, I mean, dude, fill us in before we get to Justin. Is this an easy pass, bro? I mean, I'm excited for the people who are excited for it, but to me, this is just a very forgettable figure. What are your thoughts, Kiko? Hmm. <laughs> for someone like me. I got stuck because I had all the other ones and I'm like, yeah. well, I, I, it needs a friend, you know, it can't, it can't be by itself. I'm, I'm getting all the other ones might as well. And I mean, you talk about the God of thunder. This is the God of blunder right here. This was a blunder <laughs> for sure, because there is no articulation. It is a reused age of Ultron head sculpt. There's no eyes. They went a little too crazy with the lightning effects, like way overkill. Like, I understand he's mm-hmm. the god of fucking thunder. But, like, if you go back to, like, even the axe, if you look, I'm looking at my oh, yeah, uh, in-game, the Jesus. in-game Thor one, that, that's over the top because th- it makes it look cheap. It looks so cheap um, with when you put those plastic effects on there. Agreed. Visually, with the arms, they look great. I'm not going to use the helmet head, but this is going to be the weakest 
Thor, I think, and a lot of it. And when you're talking about you know Hemsworth head sculpt, I still say that the um, the Ragnarok uh, Gladiator Thor is the best one that they've done. I think that's the best sculpt, um, even better than the Road Worn one that I'm looking at right now. But mm. I, I have this one simply because it's. I couldn't not have it, and I, it's a shame. Look how much stuff is on those arms. That is absurd. That's a lot. I mean, I guess you don't have to use them all, but I mean, no, of it's course, like, I'm not going to. But 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 at the same time, you know what's going to change this entire equation, guys? Artists and Thor. Mm. Like oh, that's sure. that's what's going to change yeah. everything. They will. They will. Whether they, will they make one. Justin, right. whether they make it Avengers One or whatever the fuck it Probably is. Probably like, Avengers One. I would imagine. Yeah. Right. Like that's what's going to. That's when they're going to be like, all right, now we're going to give a shit and we're going to try. Like that's you know for the longest time, Justin. Like there's certain actors where they just can't get the likeness right. And I think that was the case Mark for Tom Hiddleston for a while until recently. Until recently, they started yes. to get it right. But with this Thor, I feel like they're still in that not getting it right phase. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I I think Elizabeth Olsen was like that too until recently. Yeah. The first yeah. couple were good, but they weren't as good as the new ones. Right. Right. And then now this Thor. I mean, it just feels. I mean, I Justin, I know you're going to be reviewing it, but like, are you excited mm. about it? I mean, like it's. The reviews that take me the longest are the ones that I'm not excited about. And this, I'm not excited about. I love Thor, um, and Marvel invited me to the premiere of this. When I went, it, it said something, um, the audience reaction, I mean, because uh, at the end of the movie, it was dead silent. And then everyone just left. Where usually, like... And Marvel themselves, usually when we go into one of these uh, reviewer press screenings, they have like a speech at the start. They didn't say anything. They started the movie. And then uh, now I know why. Didn't love the film. Um, the plastic effects don't look good. I don't think... I reckon the cape is going to be a nightmare to work with because you can see how the wires... They're probably using those super thin wires that when you have it like even slightly bent, it looks all wrinkled and shit. I hate mm -hmm. the really thin wires. Um, yeah, I'm not excited about this, but I'll give it a chance. I, that's whenever I review something, I leave all of my preconceived notions at the door. I sit down and I do it professionally as possible. Like I'd be, I'm fair to the figure I want to. <laughs> exactly, like with the Batman, I <laughs> change my mind. Like the Batman, I sit down and I just want to let the figure do most of the talking, and I'm just telling you what I see. That's how I try and do it. Um, so. You know, I'll give it a chance, but this line for me has been a bit of a disappointment. I haven't even reviewed Gore yet. It's just sitting on the floor upstairs because every time I look at it, I'm like... <sighs> he is worth it, though, I think. I think he's really cool. Yeah. I think so. I think I, when I get into it, I'm going to enjoy it. It's just I need to get over that hurdle and get, it, get stuck into it. But Kiko, you collect how I used to collect when I first started. I was like, I need... Every version of everything, every costume, and <laughs> I think one day you're gonna slide, like Justin now doesn't do that anymore. I'm like, okay, well that's right because I do have a finite got, space. Eventually, I'll have to separate. Yes, the, that is there. the biggest problem for me yeah. is the space thing. Like I used to have multiples of troopers. Like I would be like five of a trooper because I'm like, oh, this is gonna be brilliant. Yeah. But when am I ever gonna have them like actually display? Like all my figures are just standing straight up and down. When am I going to have them like in a crazy, you know, diorama? Like I don't have room for a fucking diorama, so I've reset my my mindset now. I think I think you'll get there, Kiko. Yeah, the transition well, could come. Well, I think Kiko, you've already been doing that, well. haven't you? Yeah, Kiko's already. Yeah, been I've doing been that. cleaning out my third yeah. party pieces. Third party stuff. They're not yeah. Right, yeah, they're just not good. Yeah, yeah. Buy I nice buy twice. Well. Anything. <laughs> anything that's, I'm coming, that's Justin. not I'm coming. Uh, amazing <laughs> yeah you're getting you're getting there Kiko. anything that's not amazing I'm getting rid of someone asked me about so so toy stuff I'm just I'm getting the moon night but some of their recent things I've just really not been a fan of so yeah. nowadays because I have such limited time um because I'm spending time with Steph or the baby I don't I don't want to waste my time filming something that I'm not passionate about like this store but I have to <laughs> So I've just been skipping uh, some of the releases that I just don't give two shits about. So I'm going to continue to do that. Um, but the stuff that is really exciting, I will review. You know what's you know what's kind of driving me crazy? What? <sighs> Fucking um, moving eye thing. Someone said, "Well, moving eyes don't make sense with the helmet." But he's got another head without the helmet on, and then the moving <laughs> eyes do make sense. So. They should have they should have added moving eyes in if Gore has moving eyes and Mighty Thor does, 
Valkyrie. Oh my god. That the way they painted the eyes make her look crazy. <laughs> Why does she not have moving eyes? We could have fixed it. It would have yeah. been a, almost a perfect head sculpt. Well, I think Hot Toy is like half ass most of this line, to be honest. I think that's what they it is. They need to like. full ass it or don't bother. <laughs> they need to full ass it, 100%, dude. Yeah. I will say, though, Justin, I, I mean, so. you didn't review Gore, but more importantly, you didn't review Pennywise. I'm, I'm and... going to, I also have to review, you know, Pennywise. It's still sitting in the box on my floor. I will do it. I have to do it. You've been, you've been pushing it off for a while now. Um, you know, I know. It's been like you've a been year. You've let me down. <laughs> and Kiko didn't I'm get sorry. one, so I was upset. But uh, everyone's betraying me. It's okay. When is but, Justin making in our Batman videos, says Angela? I've already started doing it, dude. But um, I don't rush it. And I am waiting for something to be delivered so that I can film it. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it'd be. be. Like that. Yeah, it'd mm. be like that. You know what also sometimes it's like? Batman. <laughs> Because uh, oh, there's, no. a, yeah, well. there's, a, there's an 89 Batmobile out there. And uh, it just is released. And, yeah, I mean, apparently. So, and, you know. Why? I mean, even, even though the movie, Justin, is like, you know, it's, you know. It's, no, no, no. no. Oh, <laughs> you know, the movie no, itself no. is like, you know, it's all right. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of mid. But it's wow. But, uh, Teddy Wise is just gore with hair, Marcus <laughs> says. <laughs> what did that, he say? Teddy Wise is gore with hair? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's good one, right? Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, so we got this Batmobile, 89 Batmobile, and this has actually been officially released by Hot Toys. So, you know, Kiko, I want to start with Why? you. You have some big vehicles. I know, Justin, you have some vehicles. I think you have some vehicles, don't you? Hmm. Some, you still do? Yeah. I do. In I have storage. Drogon. He's not, I mean, he's like, he's like a, he's a human. He's a vehicle. Human vehicle. He's an animal vehicle. But um, yeah. You, yeah, he's, he's a, a vehicle. Yeah, he can get you from A to B. But, um, but I will say, hmm. Kiko. This this Batman here, this Batmobile, is this worthy a worthy pickup for collectors in today's marketplace? I mean, space and budget are limited, but it does look pretty cool. What are your thoughts? I own the original, and unless you really want a vehicle and you don't have the original, I don't know a single person that's upgrading to this because there are no upgrades. There's just not. Does there it might come be with a... the shell? No, it does not, which is another miss. Oh, Unless okay. I've not seen any unboxing, but they never Me advertise either. the shell because the shell is almost like its own vehicle, and you get yeah, two absolutely two for one, and very very cool. And for one, this is a massive, massive piece for the people that don't understand like Big. vehicles. When you get vehicles, it like changes the way you collect. I mean, you got the Ecto. The Ecto is the biggest vehicle that I have, but like the DeLorean is small compared to this Batmobile. Still, the Tumbler is small mm -hmm. compared to this Batmobile. Um, but to my knowledge, I don't think it has USB power. I think it's still battery. Um, and so you can't keep the lights on, which is another big miss. And then for the people that are like, well, I'll just pay $3,500 for the jazz ink one. Okay. Well, good luck, I guess. Uh, but to me, this is just, unless you are like, like Justin said, you grew up with this 89 Batman and that's your thing. And you just need that to round out the rest of your collection. In today's marketplace, ah, I don't think so, man. I don't think yeah. so. It does seem pretty cool. I mean, I like the details on the inside of it and all that, but you know, I'm. Hmm. I've always know. liked the little raised display stand. I do like that because I actually put my DeLorean on that. Is that is that the bat did, nipple? Did, what is that? No, the go back to that. Last, <laughs> wait, what did you just say? The bat, bat nipple. <laughs> That's the turbine, <laughs> brother. <laughs> That's what that looks like. It looks, it looks like a pacifier. That's like it's like. It does. Know. I call it a little dummy. Oh yeah, that works too. Yeah, I mean that's isn't that what a pacifier is meant to imitate? Like, yeah, like yeah, a nipple, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's anatomy and physiology. You got going <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I do advising. Students take anatomy and physiology, so I mean, you know, it's it's a class. So, but Justin, uh, what are your thoughts yes, on this Batmobile? Is this is this a future grail for all collectors everywhere, all at once? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. I mean, the first one, I will give you a bit of insight into how poorly the first one sold. The first one sold so badly that in Hong Kong, I think even like a couple of years ago, you know how when you buy something from Secret Base and pre-order, like once it's sold out, it's sold out. You can't get it at Secret Base anymore. Yeah. This fucker was in stock as late as like only a couple of years ago. It was still in stock. They had the 1.0. So why they made a 2.0, I have no idea. Stores in Hong Kong were using the boxes for these as coffee tables because they couldn't move them and they were so big. Like they were just it's not going anywhere. Box. It's huge. It's a bit as big as a fridge. That's how big the box is. Insane. Uh, the, two, the only way a 2.0 of this makes sense to me is if it was from Batman Returns 
and it could do the bat missile. That I would understand, okay, it's different in some sort of way. It can do something differently. It comes with the platform from Batman Returns. I, I don't think, as far as I can remember, that he used that rotating platform in 89. I don't think so. So that's a Batman Returns specific thing, but it can't do the bat missile where the sides split off and it turns into the, the long thing. Then I would have been like, okay, it's doing something differently. Fine. Uh, I don't think this was necessary at all, to be honest with you. I, at least they got the lights right and they're yellow. Not like they've been doing for the DeLorean where the lights are cool LEDs, which is completely wrong for the era for that vehicle. So at least they got the lights right unless they're photoshopped, which is possible. We will <laughs> have to wait and see. Mine's on the way. Um, I'm going to see how we go with it. Uh, I will let you know, Kiko, if it comes with that shell. Fingers crossed it does because that was like basically a two for one. You got the, the shell for the armored look and which is also a returns thing, right? Did he use, he didn't use the armor in 89, did he? I think he I did. Think so. Yeah, because he's... Did he? Yeah. Because he goes, Shoot. I thought that he used the... Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. I wouldn't know. It's been a while. Yeah. It's, Will. It's been a while. <laughs> I need to watch. Yeah, Will, you, you need to watch Batman Returns, Will. I, it's... It's a vibe. I watch like it I with said. Kiko. When I go over to Kiko's, I'll watch yeah. it. We'll Kiko, watch please it. force him to watch it. And I watched Beetlejuice for the first time recently. I fucking love Beetlejuice. Oh my God, it was so good. I've watched it three times now. So you're getting the Sideshow figure? Yes, actually. Nice. Can, can people I use your, the... your Sideshow affiliate link to get it? <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, no. I also managed to get the 1.0 Sideshow one because I'm going to oh, do nice. a custom. I've got the... A head sculptor from Trick or Treat Studios. He's doing the head sculpt for me. Oh. And then I'm having it painted by one of my usual suspects. So I'm doing my own custom because I wanted to have a Beetlejuice video out before or around the same time as the second movie. Whereas the new Sideshow one's going to be a while. Also, I don't trust him with the hair. So, okay. you know, gotcha. we'll see how we go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, I guess we'll sorry, see. I went off. I mean, no, I, it was I a Tim yeah, Burton film, Michael Keaton. So you know, I mean, it, it's connected. Yeah, it's a, it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good little tie in there. I will say though, like yeah, you know, we got one more topic, and then we're going to round things out for the evening. And like I said, I always try to okay. diversify the content as much as possible. So we need to talk about something really important in art. Okay, okay? <laughs> we got this in art here. We need to talk about this, Justin. The most impressive in art of the four thus far. Because there have been four releases, right? And I made a little graphic on Canva. It's not the best. My skills are not top tier, but you know, I I do okay, mm -hmm. right? I did it right before. Would the you show. do one of those got... videos that YouTubers do where they have like the the rankings, the S A B C, and then we sort of drag them around? Yeah. They've been four, so it wouldn't take us very long. That would have been a good idea, actually. I wish I had thought of that. I should have asked you. Damn. But anyway, so we have a graphic <laughs> here from that I built on, and this is not photos aren't even all even size, but it's fine. It's just how it went. But you know, we have four photos here of four different in our figures that have been release right not everyone has these in yes. hand but what has been the most impressive in art release this far we've had four we're gonna see batman batman's still tbd right i would say they're three mm -hmm. for three they're 3.5 for three right now because we don't even know how okay. the batman's gonna turn out in hand we, we could speculate to justin knows but the rest of us don't I know. so yes what's the most impressive one thus far and why is it pennywise kiko <laughs> <laughs> kiko turned his camera off he's done yeah i was kiko, about which to check one out on that one yeah well, <laughs> I don't know. I only own one at this point. I only have one in my collection because I can only speak to the Joker one, which I was very disappointed in when I got. I was like, I paid this much for this, and this is what I got. Like, I did not feel it being light years ahead of the Hot Toys. Because you can't look at an 11 year old sculpt and say, see, see, so much better. <laughs> 11 years is a long time when it comes to technology with figures. So I was like, I don't think it's a fair comparison. So after I got my hair fixed, I was like, okay, I can see this being a tier above most of the figures that I have. And I can see that. But I don't have Pennywise. I don't know. I don't have Gandalf. Mm -hmm. Don't plan to get Gandalf. Excited for Batman to come when it comes. And I think most people will agree for what you get that, you know, each one you do will probably be better than the last. Just because they're continually mm -hmm. working on things and there's going to be more offerings maybe we'll find out the harry potter's ass and no one liked that one but i i want to believe and everyone thinks that i'm just this in art hater and I, like i said i should have worn my shirt saying like in art shill um i want them to succeed because they i want them to put things out that i want i want daenerys i want michael i want this batman to turn out well 
as we talked about the price points, you're paying a lot. So you better be getting a lot in return. I mean, hopefully you're not getting something that's ass. I want the Paul to be exceptional. I want them to do, you know, Stilgar or some other character from Dune. I, I want them to succeed. So I haven't answered your question, which one's the most impressive. I can only speak to the one, but I think the Batman probably, when it's all said and done, will be the most impressive just because of everything you get. Really? So what about, well, I guess we could have included Bruce Wayne in there too, right? Yeah, someone said that. I was about to say Bruce Wayne is also... Yeah. Does that really count as a Good. separate figure, though? I mean, does my jail cell count? Yes, right. Separate <laughs> yeah, you can buy it separately. That's a good question, Justin. Oh, you can yeah. buy it separately. It comes in its own box, separate, like separately. So you could. Right. So, Kiko, so you're, are you going with Joker just by default then? I'll go with Batman, probably because I think from what I've seen, it probably will be. Shit, sorry. You did say that. I wasn't listening yeah. because I was like, I was trying to make this tier maker. So. Oh, my God. You <laughs> Yeah, I did it in like 30 seconds. So, like, I was trying to do it while Kiko was talking. There's anime people down there. Dude, so I yeah, scroll up a bit, Will. We don't want to see those guys. They're all in S tier. Yeah, we don't want to see your hentai pieces down there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just the photos they have on there. <laughs> you can put them in there if you want, so you can drag them up. Oh, yeah. my God. So, like, they go in. He's C tier. <laughs> we don't want him in there. Get him <laughs> yeah. out of there. I'll pull them out. Hold on. Let's, how do I, I don't think you can now. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, yeah, so okay. we, they're all S tier. They're all S tier right now. But we're, we're going to rank them in terms of, uh, we'll put one A tier. So Kiko, before we get to Justin, if you had to rank them, which one, one through four, but rank them real fast. So I will go Batman. Batman one. Gandalf. Gandalf two. Joe. Wait, oh, wait. I thought, I thought they all said they're S tier. Well, I'm just going to move around one to four. <laughs> okay. It's easier to see them. And virtually. then Joker, Pennywise. <laughs> all right, Joker, Pennywise. But Pennywise fourth, bro. You, you, that's Cap right there. That's Cap. <laughs> That's cut. Justin, change these rankings, please. Yes. What's going on? I think I, I love Batman, but from a pure technical perspective, the artistry on display with that Gandalf, with the hair, with the beard, and how realistic, like even the dirt under the fingernails, I've never seen anything like that before. Even the engraving on the ring. How did they even do that? It's yeah. so small. How did they engrave that? I have no fucking idea. So I, even though... I love the Batman. I reckon Gandalf is number one. Okay, so I'm going to move that. I'm basically, I'm posting a uh, poll. And I'm not a Lord of the Rings fan at all, by the way. I don't even like Lord of the Rings, but yeah, it's just so Gandalf, technically same. impressive. So you want Gandalf number Thank one. you, Kiko. I'm glad that he agrees with me. Everyone tells me I'm crazy for not liking Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I respect the lore and the world, but I just could not get it. They were just too long. Yeah, it's just not my... Not so we're my going thing. Gandalf 1, Justin. Uh, what, what's 2? Gandalf 1. I th I have not opened Pennywise yet, so I can't... I, I don't know. So probably But two. just, again, on a pure... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On a pure technical perspective... Uh, oh, no, oh, wait. I have, I've reviewed the prototype, so I feel like I've got a, a pretty That's good fine. idea. Um, it, I don't think it beats Joker. You get two figures. You get the jail cell diorama. It's real metal. It's real wood. Real diecast accessories. Pennywise just it has less value there. Um, I think Batman does beat Pennywise also. <laughs> I think Pennywise <laughs> is still last. <laughs> so this I think it goes uh, Gandalf, Joker. Oh uh, yeah, I, I'll stick with that. I think Batman. It, there could be an argument there that Batman could trump Joker. It depends if we're including Bruce Wayne or not. Yeah. Well. Yeah, because I mean, I guess if you count the two Jokers in the jail cell diorama versus Batman and Bruce Wayne, I'd probably take Joker because yes. the jail cell diorama is so cool, you know? That's I cool. think you can do a lot more with two different Jokers than you can with uh, Bruce Wayne. But I, love yeah. to, I love their Bruce Wayne. It's awesome, but he is always going to be just standing there, which is fine. But I mean, it's not like with Joker, you can get a bit more. Yeah. You, know, you can have him leaning over this jail cell or clapping or with the handcuffs or what you can do more with it. Yeah. I mean that's fair. I mean I think at the end of the day though, like Pennywise is one. So Pennywise yeah, he's, he's one. And then like and then probably we're gonna go like <laughs> I'm gonna give the definitive that's what wild, See, that's the difference. That's the difference, Kiko, when you talk about reviewers and bias. See, that's <laughs> Will showing his bias. Yeah. Whereas me, if it was me, I would just put Batman number one because I fucking love Batman over and above everything else. And Joker yeah. would be down below because I do not really like Heath Ledger's Joker all that much at all. But I just want to look at it from a pure technical perspective. I mean, 
I mean, I'm objectively, Justin, if I'm being serious, Gandalf is probably one. Gandalf but, is number one. But I will say, like, I probably would say Pennywise, too, <laughs> bias aside. Like, I, I <laughs> legitimately think that Pennywise is number two, dude. Like, I think, okay. you know, probably joke. The real <laughs> question, speaking of all these jokers that you don't like, is where will the Joaquin Joker end up? Joaquin Joker I do like. Uh, that one I have seen in person. And, yeah, I, I think it... Well, it's a four pack, so immediately value wise, I think it's going to be, yeah, and also realism wise and accessory. I think that's going to probably be their best release yet if they nail it. Yeah, but there's four figures there, so like that's, that's... what I'm saying. It's like kind of unfair. Yeah. Yeah. What well, could I can't be? Wait to pre-order Gaga. It's going to be awesome. Could be Paul. Paul could if yeah if they get that. I've seen that in person as well, and that was that was awesome. But that was before I liked you. Right. So now I've seen... Steph and I watched it again. And the first one, before we saw... We saw it again! <laughs> yeah, we were like, hang on, now we understand it. How do so, I add... Hold on, I need to add... Um, there's a, I need to add... I need to add this, not the anime. So Harry Potter goes in the D category, for sure. He's like, is there an, <laughs> is there an F tier? Like, he needs to be there. <laughs> like... The too negative. Yeah, because like Harry Potter... Like, no one bought Harry Potter. So like, he's not... Very few people did buy Harry Potter. And Batman but if is they mid, had shown, so this is a good question though. If they had shown Hermione and Ron at the same time, not up the pre-order, but just shown that they are doing Hermione and Ron, do you think more people would have bought it to have the trio? I mean, it's still kids though. That's the problem. I, I know. Mean, it is that, it I is think a lot of collectors right. maybe feel, maybe I'm speculating. Superman too. We forgot about Cavill Superman. He's up for pre-order as well. Yeah, it's true. He's up for pre-order. That one is pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. Um, but he comes from the Snyderverse. So it's like, eh. I mean, like, <laughs> it's like, Will. I mean, mm. the Snyderverse hate. Oh my God. Yeah. No, I, I like, I like Snyder cut, but, um, yeah, I think Gandalf is definitively number one. We're running the poll right I now. Gandalf's so. running away with it. So, um, yeah, I will say though, Pennywise, yeah, is best. Pennywise looking pretty good in last place, but, uh, you know, he's, he's at 6% right now. <laughs> so, but, um, well, it's okay. Yeah. As long as you like it, that's all that matters. Yeah, not enough people gave him a chance, dude. They didn't give him a chance. So. Mm. <laughs> I think, that's what it is. I I think, think it's it, just the creepy yeah. factor. People don't want to have a creepy thing in their house, to be honest. Yeah, so like my graphic, though. I think I think it, I think I did pretty good. So, um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining, and thank you so much for being engaged in the chat. We are going to wrap it there. It's Justin's in the future, so I'm not sure what time it is there. Nine a.m. now. Nine a.m. But it's seven yeah. p.m. here, and Kiko's in the past, so it's six yeah. p.m. over here. I definitely past. live in the past. Oh. Wow, yeah, keep us an hour like, behind me. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a it's like a though. roller coaster, yeah. Um, but uh Kiko, thank you so much for joining and being my co-host as always, bro. What is coming up on the channel? Because I know you dropped a video recently about deluxe for standing in grail hunting. You are yeah. grail hunting. So <laughs> yeah. what's going on? So not much going on on the channel because once again, people don't like to watch that stuff. But <laughs> we are having a lot of fun over on Instagram and threads. So feel free to check this out over on the gram and threads. A lot of plenty of reels, and apparently apparently TikTok is making a photo app now don't really know whether that's true or Aren't not they banned but... in the u.s no they never officially went through with that so we'll see so if okay. they end up doing a TikTok photo app that would be great <clears throat> choking that'd be great for me um so check us out on all those social platforms and i am here i think one more week or two and then i'm going to be out for our anniversary so just prepare for that accordingly everybody I know. I don't know what we're gonna do, dude. It's gonna be like we we need Kiko Collex here with his spicy takes. So yeah, it's nah, gonna. Be y'all need a good break from me. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, people will be monster. like, "Damn, this stream is a lot less spicy today." <laughs> than without Kiko, but the, yeah, Kiko, I still have the OnlyFans thing in your banner. I forgot about that. I didn't take that out. But yeah, let's go ahead and change that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and change that. But uh, Justin, I think I got to create a. No, I have a banner for you. Actually, I forgot that I had one. So oh, it's, it's pretty made. It's, it's pretty packed. It was on pre-order. But uh, Justin, right. what's uh, what's coming up on the channel, dude? Thank you so much for joining. I will get to work on uh, the Batman video and I will try and do it as quickly as I can, but I will not rush it. So yeah. Um, that sounds great. It'll come, it'll drop when it, when it drops. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm covering everything and uh, yeah, I want to try and do it justice. Mm. Are you going to review so the door first? Uh, <laughs> actually, maybe <laughs> to be honest with you. Because there's been a little bit of a complication with the Batman review that uh, we need to work out before I can continue. So I probably will do gore first, to be honest. Uh, 
something is coming from Hong Kong. I don't know what it is. So it could be the Batmobile that happens before Thor, or it could be Thor and the 501. Nobody's talking about the 501st. <laughs> I had it on the docket, but we just ran out of time, yeah. I've already decided that I, I, I'm going to keep the first 501st Troopers, which are more accurate to Revenge of the Sith, and I'm going to fuck off the Obi-Wan. I, I'm just going to keep one 501st. I don't need a pale blue... It's, Unposable. You see the poses, by the way, like no, with the the DC fifteen with the stock like out here. Like he couldn't even get the stock into his arm. So I don't know if the articulation is just worse this time or what. Yeah, keep going through, Will, and you'll see the one that I'm talking about. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep... Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see. I'm gonna find it. Maybe it was just that that guy's bad photo. That one. Tell guy. me when. You'll find it. You'll find it. You'll find it. <laughs> It's there like are more when, pictures uh, than I remember. Maybe they've added a few more here. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a decent looking trooper, but all the a lot of the troopers look the same to me. Besides the death. That trooper. one. Go back. This this one. This one. <laughs> Who oh, holds yeah, a gun like, like this? <laughs> yeah. What happened? Yeah, the gun. The guy, guy, guy on the navy helped. ship that they ended up posting on Twitter. You hear about that? That one navy um, admiral. No, what happened? Did a Photoshop, and the navy ended up deleting it because he was holding the gun wrong, and he looked like a dumbass. Oh wow! Oh, like wow. this. There was a big uh, military scandal, so. Mm. This is real bad. This is real bad. He goes all about the conspiracy theories, bro. He loves those. I know. <laughs> Just like I know, I'm tired. We still yeah. like you, Kiko. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Justin, so you're getting this trooper. You're you're getting like five of these, probably, right? I'm getting the one, and then <laughs> I have decided that I will be selling it. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. But anything else yeah. on the channel, Pennywise, perhaps? Pennywise, yes, I do need to do that. Uh, I'll try and maybe do it next week. I think, because I just want to get it over with. It's been sitting there for ages. I need to get it done. <laughs> just get it done. <laughs> yeah, I get it done. I have the Hot Toys. I bought the Hot Toys one again because I sold it to Dean Knight. I bought the Hot Toys one again just so that I could compare it to the in art one. And it's been sitting here in my living room. And Steph is like, why is this here? Can you get this out of here? Right. So I, I do need to do that. And then I can get rid of two figures when I review the Pennywise. So That would actually yeah. be great, dude. Might as well. And a Pennywise is Pretty worth well. above retail now, I think. So... Yeah, really? Are you buying? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Will the Will gets to decide the market because he's the only one. Yeah, I do. I, I I have two of the fifteen they made. You can see them right in the background <laughs> there. So yeah, I have a pretty good amount of the of the batch. So they have just batch. numbered Pennywise. To be honest, they should have done it like a, a limited number because that's how many how few they make. Yeah, I mean they everyone's influenced with batch with Pennywise. That's what, <laughs> everyone's an influence. <laughs> so yeah but guys thank you so much for joining guys oh, wow. check out justin's channel as you always do i'm sure check out kiko's channel of course as you always do because the dude posts great content especially on threads threads instagram all that good stuff kiko's the justin kiko's the king of uh social media all things social media so yeah. all instagram. of it yeah all of it yeah all of it oh. rules overall it's like the nine kingdoms in westeros or whatever like that's that's kiko yeah yeah if i'm the ruler of the nine kingdoms i'm definitely robert baratheon i'm just a dumbass that doesn't know what's going on <laughs> you're a dumbass that fought the boar <laughs> yeah that's pretty much you but, Give uh, me the milk of the poppy and let me die. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining. We'll have more info on our InArt uh, detonator giveaway soon once we hit the 9,000 and 8,000. So yeah, you I need so to give away. The, I've got a couple of those fuckers as well. I need to give away. <laughs> I have a bunch of them just in my corner of my room here. So I got to I gotta give them I away. haven't even opened one for myself yet. I, I would do that and then I'll give away. It is very uh, cute for sure. Point. It is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thank it's you so much for joining. We're going to roll the outro. It's 7 to 8. I've kept these guys eight minutes over. I appreciate it. Thanks to these guys. Thank you. And uh, Pennywise is S tier. That's, that's what we're going to say. Bye. Thank you for watching another episode of Lights, Camera, Collect. Please make sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel. And of course, check out my amazing co-host channel, Kiko Collects, linked in the description below. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.